<laughs> well, a very good evening and welcome to the West Ham Voice, everybody. <laughs> Who's a happy hammer, eh? I mean, what a way to start the week. A £51 million signing after we won our thousandth, after we won our game, first game of the season, which was our thousandth game in the Premier League on Sunday. I mean, the week couldn't have started any better, could it, really? All we've got to do now is beat the Spuds to make it an even better week. And, uh, um, well, does it matter what the rest of the season holds? Of course it does. Welcome to the West Ham Voice. Thank you all for joining me. I mean, I, you know, I, I kind of, because there's so much to normally talk about on a Monday night, so I kind of write the scripts and notes, etc., as to what I want to talk about. But everything's been overshadowed, hasn't it, really? Everything's been overshadowed by the signing of um, of the latest player, Lucas Paqueta, uh, for a reported £51 million. Pounds. I mean, scratch your heads for a minute, because... Uh, how many how many West Ham fans on, honestly thought that we'd spend this much money in this transfer window? I was hoping for six players and I thought we might spend a hundred million because we didn't spend any money in uh, January. But I don't think in our wildest dreams that uh, any of us would have uh, imagined that we would have gone out and spent so much money uh, on players. And 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 what what did I say the other day? Leaving the best to last, probably the last signing uh, this summer. But leaving the best to last, you know, getting a, such a classy player like Lucas Paqueta is just stunning. Uh, but, you know, we'll talk about that later on because there's, there's loads of other stuff to talk about, of course. All things West Ham related, you know, about the games that we played the last uh, in the last week. You know, like it or not, I'm going to talk about women's team and the under-21s and the under-18s as well. Uh, a little bit of playing use. And then transfer stories, which, to be quite honest with you, all sound a little bit... Um, uh, hollow now that we've uh, signed Paqueta, but there's one or two interesting stories that I might as well let you know about. So, uh, so before I do all of that, why don't we just go into the chat and see uh, and see who's here and and wonder if anyone's uh, as surprised as I am. <laughs> Good evening, Chris. Celebrating on you signing with a packet of Chris. Oh, well done, mate. Boom, boom. Hello, mate. Uh, hi, Black, Black Country. Stells on time again. Well, I, I was, wasn't I? I don't think I was late. 902. Well, yeah, no, I changed it to 915 because I just uh, I had to just update one or two little videos. I was trying to load a Dodsey video and it wouldn't load. Uh, I think it's it, I don't know what went wrong with it, but uh, I wanted to load a Dodsey video uh, of the uh, V Borg trip. So I'm going to do that as a separate show. Sorry, Dodsey, if you're watching, mate. You know, I've been desperately trying for the last 10 minutes or so to load your video and wouldn't load. So uh, maybe I've got to rearrange it and maybe take out a, a few snippets and. Uh, uh, but I'll, I'll do that as a separate show. Good evening, v Uh Will be a new experience for Moyes to manage a big, talented squad. Let's see how he does. I hope he can make the transition. I know. It's big. Yeah, good, big call for him, isn't it? Shaky, good evening to you. Would rather a packet of... <laughs> good evening, Hammerett. New season, new signings. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody no. I did say, I, ja I changed it. I, uh, clearly, you didn't get the notification, obviously. Good evening to you, Howard. How are you? I uh, hope you're well. Um, good evening, Paul. Hello, mate. A man always worth waiting for. I saw like, thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Um, who else have we got? Mr. Bartlett. Good evening to you. Oh, Mr. Barrett. Sorry. Sorry. Evening, everyone. Hope you enjoyed your... What a great bank holiday. You know, to finish it off like this, I'm still, I, I won't lie, even though I kind of knew that this um, a signing was uh, very likely to happen, even I'm still surprised at the, what we've spent in this window. I'm, I'm really surprised. I'm, you know, pleasantly surprised. Good evening to you, Aaron. Hope you're well, well mate. Uh, I hope you, we are massive. Well, we're massive in the transfer market. Now we've got to be massive on the pitch. Good evening to you, Patrick. How are you, mate? I hope you're well. Mr. Bong, how are you? Uh, drinking a celebratory South American red, giving myself a Brazilian to mark the occasion. A Brazilian means many different things, James. Um, so if you're drinking alcohol, you might need it if you're having a Brazilian in a certain part of your body. <laughs> Good evening, Paul. How are you? From New Jersey. Thanks for joining, mate. Much appreciated. Who else do we have here? Uh, Paul, again, Paul Harrington. Uh, just before Stell gets here, I highly recommend the weekly output of Rock Banks, the John Lyle years. Uh, very good. Very good. But I'll give you another historian. And that's our very own Mr. Nigel Khan, who we're trying to encourage to do a few more videos. But yeah, good shout. Um, who else have we got? Epic. How are you, mate? 
Uh, there's not much difference in the salary offered to, by Zenit and West Ham to Attila's lie. Uh, we'll make, he'll make his final decision after the Konya. I don't think um, he, he might be going to Zenit, but I don't know what we offered him, if we even did. Uh, but I, don't, I think we're done. I think, I think we're done for transfers. Um, apparently, he's the uh, Dawson replacement. Going to talk a little bit about Dawson uh, in, in a minute. Well, when I get to playing use, etc. Uh, Martin, haven't seen. I know, not around. If anyone knows Frank, if anyone can message him, find out if he's okay. We haven't seen him for a while. Adam, good evening to you, mate. How are you? Good evening to you, Daniela. Uh, been out on the Raz. You go, you, have you, Hammerette? I hope you're not drunk. Oh, you've been so, so hung over today. You need a. <laughs> Did you go to the game yesterday, Hammerette? Uh, we got drunk on the way up there. And we got drunk on, well, I won't tell you what we were drinking, but uh, yeah, it was it was good fun. It was a good day out. Martin, uh, Hammerette, Martin, I know he hasn't been around for age. You can't find him or so. Oh, that's a shame. If anybody knows him, then uh, do do send our regards to him. Good evening to you, Ballon. Good evening to you, Billy Bob. How are you? I hope you're well. Thank you for joining. Uh, John, uh, Paul Harrington, a great, great series and a great soundtrack too. Oh, that's on the uh, thing that he mentioned earlier. Uh, who else have we got? Mr. Evans, good evening to you. Uh, I hope you're well. Um, who else have we got? Good evening, foe. How are you? Haven't seen you for... Oh, you were on the other day. I hope you're well. Good evening to you, uh, Delavaki. How are you, mate? Thank you for joining. Uh, much appreciated. Good evening, Mr. Charlton. How are you, mate? Thank you for joining as well. Black Country. Moyes has has to show his uh, belly strength now. It's all on his shoulders. Best of luck. You know what? I feel good. I I'm sure we all do. But uh, I mean, that this signing, I mean, the win yesterday uh, against Villa and this signing has really perked us all up, hasn't it? I hope it don't come tumbling down on Wednesday night, uh, which I don't think it will. Tyler, good evening to you, mate. Nothing better on a holiday and an amazing weekend. Thank you very much. Good evening to you, Simon. How are you? Love it still. Nice start of the week. Fantastic, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it great? Uh, Dodsey, I hope you heard that, mate. Um, uh, we're all happy. I, c I couldn't get the V-Borg. And I love the V-Borg one. Dodsey's done a vlog. It it's brilliant. From the moment he woke, uh, he, he set, got set off at three o'clock in the morning to actually get to the airport and then fly to Copenhagen and then fly off on to, um, uh, I don't know, I can't remember which airport you went to, mate, but uh, it, it was a full on day. And I won't lie, Dodsey. <laughs> I won't lie, mate. The, the final video that you did when it was all like the last video, you look shattered, mate. I bet you had a good time out there. Good evening to you, Danny. I, I, when I get it sorted, mate, I will definitely load it as a separate uh, show. Good evening, Danny. How are you? Paqueta, Mrs. Spurs and Chelsea. Uh, I'll tell you a little story about who was after him in a minute, if you haven't already heard. Bernie, good evening to you, mate. So does this signing mean we can play a different system? of play in your view absolutely I, I mean you know Moyes credit to him and we're going to talk about the game uh, the Villa game in a minute all credit to him he played two systems on on Sunday yeah one of them worked one of them didn't so uh I think yeah it's going to be interesting Devon how are you mate I fancy us on Wednesday I really do where do you think Moyes will play Paqueta I'm not so sure he'll start on Wednesday I'm not so sure he'll play to be honest with you, but let's not get upset if he doesn't, you know, I don't think it's a big deal if he doesn't, you know, it'd be nice to have him to, to play, but let's not get too upset if he doesn't play on Wednesday. Uh, good evening, Fremer. How are you, mate? I hope you're well. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, big spender. We are, mate, aren't we? <laughs> the, 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 the cavi. Uh, big, I can't, uh, you know, uh, I think Sullivan's, someone's nicked his checkbook, haven't they? Someone, someone's nicked Sullivan's checkbook and gone, fuck it, let's go on a spending spree. What can go wrong? <laughs> Pecads. Signings don't mean squat if the results don't come. Very true. Bring us back down to earth. You're absolutely right to do so, mate. Good evening. Uh, oh, good evening to you, Ian. I hope you're well. Work permit can't be done for seven days. Good point. So maybe he isn't available for Wednesday anyway. So that means that means he'll probably miss... Um, uh, the weekend game against Chelsea as well, then, which will be a shame. Uh, good evening to you, Ian. I hope you're well. Uh, feeling a lot more positive than this time last week. Absolutely. What's there to be negative about? You know what we're like. Good evening, Mr. Osborne. I hope Paqueta will be available for the Chelsea game. Well, uh, as uh, has just been mentioned, if it takes seven days to do the work permit, maybe he won't be. Maybe he won't be. Uh, Tyler, uh, don't forget, we only paid about 36 with our add-ons. We did indeed. 
And and I did get carried away. And I have to apologize because I did a show uh, during last week and I said, oh, I spent so far is about 173 million pounds. But as I been, keep being told, you can't include add-ons. Yes, Sushi. What do you want? I want to say hello. Come on in. You can't. Good evening. Oh, meow, meow. Say hello to everyone. What do you think of the Paquetta signing? Yeah. Okay. Off you go. Um, yeah, absolutely right. We, we shouldn't include add-ons. And I was naughty because I did include add-ons. And I said, oh, £173 million spent. And it isn't that much, to be honest with you. So you're absolutely right, Tyler. Um, who else we've got? Uh, Michael. Now to get Vanneken. Wow. He's very keen. Yeah, he is very keen. But do we now need him? Um, good evening to you, Kylo. Stench is so strong. Okay. Um, who else have we got here? Uh, you can't be a Hammers fan. Uh, or is he? Who knows? Do we care? Uh, John, absolutely no doubt a quality shopping spree this summer. Absolutely. John, the other John, credit where credit's due to the board. All great signings, in my opinion. You know what? You know, we talked about looking at improving the squad. I think we have done. Uh, did I download? Yes, I did. I mean, let's have a quick look at the squad. I mean, look at it now. Uh, 23 man squad. Many people are still going to say we're shorts on numbers, which should be 25 at least. But let's look at the quality of this squad. You know, uh, um, in, in the bat in goal, uh, we've got uh, Ariola um, uh, and uh, Fabianski. And uh, and then on the right side, we've got Johnson and uh, Soufal. Um, and then on the left side, we now have competition. We've got Creswell and Emerson. And then in the middle, I, I know there's talk about uh, um, Dawson going. I'm not so sure that's going to happen. All right, a Gerd's out injured, don't forget. You know, Ogbonna's only just coming back. So I don't think uh, Dawson's going anywhere at the moment. Uh, but we've got, you know, we've got good competition there uh, when uh, uh, Ogbonna is back fit and when a Gerd is back in as well. I think Kero's look quite good. You know, he's settling in nicely, which is which is fantastic. Even Zuma, even Zuma is beginning to sort of pick up the pace a little bit. In the middle, people may argue that we might be a bit light with only Downs, uh, Socek and uh, Declan, you know, maybe Vanneken. But then Paqueta can play in that role. He can play you know, a little bit deeper if needed. Um, and then Bowen on the right uh, and uh, Corne, we know Corne can cover for Bowen. Corne can cover for Ben Rama, who's been fantastic. And then, of course, we've got Fornals, Lanzini and new boy Paqueta. And up front, uh, let's get, sorry, John, up front, uh, we've got uh, Skamaka and Antonio. Isn't it looking really healthy now? You know, it, it, it's fantastic, really, to be quite honest with you. You know, and, and the quality, uh, I, I'm surprised that we've got eight players in. I genuinely thought we'll get uh, six players and no more. But the fact that we've actually got eight players, uh, new players in, and they're all of a decent standard. You know, I think the only one that you may argue, you know, that may not make regular football in the first team is maybe Downs. But even he, you know, uh, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll take him a bit, bit of time. Absolutely, he'd be playing more football if he was still at Swansea. But uh, coming into West Ham United and learning from the others, etc., I think you're going to start seeing a little bit more of Downs. He may not start many games. He might start, you know, Carab Carabao Cup and stuff like that. And he may even start one or two games in uh, in Europe as well. But there's there's healthy competition there now. It, it's looking it's looking good. Quite like it. Quite like it. Uh, who else have we got in the chat? Um, good evening, Huge. How are you? Uh, what a transfer, along with Skamak. Absolute mate. 35 million for Skamaka, 51 million for uh, Paqueta. It's in, it's incredible. I'm pinch yourselves, West Ham fans. Got a full rage. <laughs> Good evening, Ryan. <laughs> I hope you're well. Don't get it caught in the door when you're going out. <laughs> Steve, uh, he just fell off the stand doing the media shite, luckily on a bouncy castle. He was up high. He was on the roof, wasn't he? Uh, Danny, good evening. Uh, he's ineligible for the Spuds and Chelsea game. Yeah, OK. Yeah, we, I think we've got... Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Uh, Juha, good evening to you, mate. Uh, now Hope Moyes can use... He better bloody do. He better start using the squad. I think, oh. oh. Mbappe to West Ham United being kept quiet for deadline. <laughs> Good evening, Scarborough. How are you, mate? Good evening, Kent. I hope you're well, mate. Did you go to um, Villa yesterday, uh, Kent? I like two more players, one on loan and one full time sign. Full time sign. Uh, I think I might go out. Who? Uh, I don't know if we're going to lose any players. There's an awful lot of talk about, you know, a number. I mean, I've got them listed, so I'll talk about them later. But uh, 
I'm not so sure, to be quite honest with you. A good evening, Drawn Inc. Good evening. Best transfer window. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's unbelievable. Good evening to you, Oliver. How are you, mate? Uh, can he start? Unfortunately not. He cannot. Uh, Daniela. If the paperwork done by midday Tuesday can play v Spurs, yes. But as someone else pointed out, it's about the work permit. So that might be... No, it would be about the work permit. Yeah, yeah. So that might be a hindrance. Bernie, the new signing has left me uh, going into a dark room for a few hours. <laughs> Good evening, Andrew. How are you, mate? Thank you for joining. Good evening, Henry. How are you? Um, Rice seeing the... Do you know what? You know, I said it the other day, mate. Could this be the sort of uh, transfer window that may make Declan go, it might be worth hanging on? You know, we, we talked about uh, it needs to be an ambitious... You're absolutely spot on, Henry. We talked about it needs to be an ambitious transfer window. Boy, oh boy, it's an ambitious transfer window. We've got quality in. We've got Premier League proven players. We've got world-class players, etc., like Paqueta, etc. We've got real up-and-coming players, internationals like Skamaka and so on. You know, and we've got some solidity as well. I know a lot of people aren't really uh, happy with that, the Emerson signing. And all right, he didn't play that well on, on, on Sunday, but finding his way. But I reckon even with a player like Emerson, who's got experience, let's not forget, he's played in Champions League, he's played in Europe, he's played uh, Italian. Italian uh, for, for the Italian side, etc. You know, he's got some he's got some um, experience there, as well as up and coming like Skamaka, as well as you know, fantastic. I mean, top level signings like Paqueta. We've done well, and Declan might be looking around thinking, I might want to be a part of this, even if we don't. Even if we don't, I know everyone is saying he will definitely. Get, even I'm saying it. You know, I've been saying it for a while. You know, even if. Um, we don't get Champions League football. And if we don't win anything, Declan might look at the season. And if we do really well this season and are, are near or as near as damn it, you know, from Champions League or European football again and so on and so forth, what's what's to make him turn around and go, you know, I think I might hang around because the next couple of seasons, the next couple of years at West Ham United could be some of the most interesting years in our history. You know, we could go on to make history. I know I'm I know I'm getting a bit carried away, but why not? Why not? And Declan might be looking at uh, the squad and going, hmm, you know, Funky T, he's going to want to play alongside Skamaka, Paqueta and players like that, isn't he? Funky T, good evening to you. I heard a rumour off of, of, yeah, I'm going to talk about that in a little, little while, mate. Good evening to you, David. How do you feel now still that West Ham signed eight players with more to come? Crazy. And sign uh, Lucas, well... Uh, but it will take time to adjust. I agree. It will take time. We cannot expect everything to happen straight away. And I know, you know, I don't want to call our fans fickle. I don't think we are, you know, but the expectation's been raised, hasn't it? The expectation now is quite high. Um, you know, we've done really well in, in, in the Premier League over the last two seasons. We've got European football for the second season in a row. And uh, and the expectation is high. And it's funny, I don't know if many of you watched the uh, the Friday show I did with uh, Dan and, and Nigel on Friday night. And we were talking about what would a good, what would a good season re re represent to you? And we were talking about, you know, maybe winning a cup. And, and, you know, finishing mid-table. And a lot of people were saying, yeah, I get that because you've got the memory of winning a cup final, etc. And a lot of other people were going, well, I, I, I still want to finish top and, you know, near the top and all that sort of stuff. But we might have to. It might be. It is a transition year. You know, I don't even think like, Moyes said it himself, didn't he? That, uh, you know, it kind of like almost uh, alluded to we kind of signed too many players. We knew we had to. And ironically, at the end of this season, when we're going to lose another maybe three or four, five players at the end of this season, if we don't ex ex extend certain contracts, uh, we might have to bring in another three or four players at the end of this season. So it, it is a massive transition. And I think it, we, we kind of had no choice. And many people, and I said it as well, suggested that maybe we could have done ourselves a favour and uh, and signed one or two players in January to to ease the burden of bringing in so many players in, in, in summer. It didn't happen. What, for whatever reason, it didn't happen. Uh, so now we've got eight players. It is going to take time. It absolutely is. And I think we as fans 
have got to be patient. The last thing we should be doing, you know, if we lose, uh, you know, some some crucial games, etc. I'm not talking about losing and sort of getting relegated, which I don't think we will, will, will happen. But if it doesn't turn out to be such a great season as the last two have been, then I think we've got to be patient as fans. And we've got to accept the fact that with so many players coming in, so many new players coming in, it will take time to bed in. It will take time to sort of adjust, etc. So... Are we going to be? Are we going to accept that? Are we going to accept that it's a season of transition? And maybe, maybe it might turn out not turn out to be as great a season as the last two. I, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me what you think, uh, Adam. Paqueta won't start for the Spuds. May uh, get minutes against uh, Chelsea. What well, might not it, about uh, with the work thing? Uh, Black Country still. We're spending because uh, next summer we're massive. We're talking big bucks. Saying no more. <laughs> uh, Andrew, um, looking forward to our new signing. Hope you were. I'm very well, mate, and I hope you are too. Good evening to you, Kevin. How are you? Uh, thank you for joining, mate. Good evening to you, Mr. Tiley. Are you happy, Mr. Tiley? Come on, mate. Hey. Eh? <laughs> Uh, Rhonda and Tony, good evening to you. Morning to you. Uh, FA has not helped us with moving Chelsea. That shit. And I'm going to talk about all the changes to our schedule in a moment as well. Uh, Chris, West Ham's banking Leon in their backyard, then signing their best player six months later is... <laughs> It is. It is. Barney, good evening to you. Great bench for Spurs games. Skamaka, Kerra, Downs. I want Kerra to start. I like Kerra. Uh, and I want Skamaka to start as well. Uh, Ariola, Emerson, Corne, Paqueta. We could even see one or two of them after an hour. Well, not for Spurs, but certainly not Paqueta anyway, but certainly some of the others. Um, good evening to you, GP. How are you? Good evening, John. How are you? Uh, Moyes has just got to learn to play people in their proposition. I think he's got, no, you know, no excuses now, has he? You know, he's got to play these uh, players. Chris Hill, uh, Chris Harris, good evening to you. According to Moyes and Rice, we're not done yet. <laughs> Where do we go? <laughs> I mean, are we Forest in disguise trying to sign 18 players? Good evening, Mr. Dennis. How are you? Thank you for joining. Fremer. Uh, what's everyone think of rumours? Big. I'll talk about that in a minute. I'll get to all that. Good evening, Victor. How are you, mate? Right. I'll tell you what. Why don't we just dive into the first part of the show? Um, and uh, let's do the Academy, shall we? So, uh, very brief, very brief uh, for everyone, um, because there, there weren't any games in the in the women's. Uh, well, they're still in pre-season. They'll be starting their league very soon. But uh, the West Ham women's team, uh, Mr. Koncheski, has made his 11th signing of the season. Maybe we, we've got a, a competition between us and the women's team as to who can sign the most players. They're winning at the moment. They've got three more than the senior men's team have got. Uh, Riza Shimitsu. Which is a, who is a Japanese international, has signed for the club, 26 years of age. She's a left back, um, signed on a two year contract, has spent her entire, and her entire career at Japanese club Beletsa, uh, where she became captain of the team in 2020. Um, and uh, she joins us uh, on a two year deal. And uh, she teams up uh, with uh, Japanese international teammate Yui Hasegawa. And we wish you well. And we hope you smash it in uh, the in in the league. So uh, well done to uh, Konchesky. There's a there's a change going on there. You know, massive change. You know, a whole load of new players in the women's league. A bit like the men's team as well. Right. What about the um, the under twenty ones and the under eighteens? The under twenty ones are just not doing too well at the moment. Another defeat for the under twenty ones, where they played uh, uh, Everton at the weekend and lost two one. Um, Ajibola Alese, look, I know that the, the, the league now has changed from under 23s to under 21s. And there'll be a number, of, there would have been a number of players that weren't eligible to play because, well, you, you're only allowed to play one um, a player over the age of 21. So um, a number of players like Hocko Flex and, and various others are, are sort of not getting a lot of game time, etc. But I just wonder how much they miss Ajibola Alese. Because even though Alese was on the fringes of the senior team, um, he was. The, 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 the captain of the under then under 23s he was their kind of he was their leader they kind of looked up to him and i just wonder now with him gone 
whether they're really finding it a, a, a bit of a struggle because they haven't won a league game yet so, so far this season. Um, they got kind of beaten, not not comfortably, but, uh, you know, we were actually, we, we um, it was uh, Everton who got the goal in the first half. Uh, and uh, no sooner did the second half begin, we really shot ourselves in the foot because uh, Divin, Divin Umbar, Divine Umbama uh, went in for a challenge and he saw straight red. So we were 1-0 down. And then, and then we were a player down as well. So the under twenty ones played the whole second half uh, with uh, ten players. Uh, on the seventy six minutes, we got back into it. Pierre Equa, who's a bit of a trademark now, seems to be getting the ball and smashing it in the back of the net. Our defensive midfielder, another one that we picked up from Chelsea, by the way, um, trademark shot uh, to to level the game. But immediately from kickoff. Uh, Everton went and scored again. And we did score again on the 93rd minute, but it was deemed to be offside. So, you know, they put up a brave a brave fight, the, the under-21s. Uh, you know, it's not that they were outshone, but they're just not getting the rub of the green at the moment. Uh, whereas the under-18s seem to be scoring for fun. <laughs> now, the under-18s so far this season, um, in their first game of the season, we were, were losing to Crystal Palace and we came back to beat them 3-2. In the second game of, this, of their season, uh, we were 1-0 down to Southampton and they came back to smash them 4-1. And in this game against Fulham, we were 3-1 down and we came back to smash them. I mean, it was a yo-yo game for the, for the neutral. It must have been a fantastic game to watch. But boy, oh boy. I mean, I'll tell you something. Uh, I know I'm going to I know I'm going to say it and people are going to go, don't, you know, you don't, they're only under 18s. Callum Marshall is scoring goals for fun. You know, he, he got a brace at the weekend against Fulham. Uh, Gideon Kadua also got a brace as well. They are they are both scoring for fun. And, and I wish them well because uh, who knows? You know, why not another player coming through the uh, the youth ranks, hey? And like an attacking player would, would be even better. And talking about players and play, uh, players going out on loan, etc. cetera. Um, Mipo Odebeko and Dan Chester have both gone out on a season-long loan. Odebeko has gone to League One side Port Vale. And Chester's to League Two side, Colchester United. I'm surprised Chester's has gone to a League Two side. I thought he was a. Uh, I, I thought he was kind of rated better, and maybe he would have gone to a League One side, or maybe even a Championship side. But you know what? I wish them both well. Uh, Port Vale were promoted to League One last season, uh, and uh, through the playoffs, and uh, Odebeko has been called in to make sure you know to try and score a few goals to uh, keep them there. And uh, Chester's, um, Colchester finished 15th in their league last season. So Chester's is joining up with ex-Hammers, Freddie Sears and Frank Nubel to try and elevate them up in the league. So good luck to them. Good luck to them indeed. Now, we've got some, uh, some other news now. <laughs> Harrison Ashby. There's rumours that uh, Newcastle are interested in Harrison Ashby. Don't believe it for a second. He is going to be uh, our one. He will be our next breakthrough player. I'd be very surprised if he's not. I don't think um, West Ham United are going to think about losing uh, Harrison Ashby. He's uh, he's too good. And um, and I think when he gets an opportunity, I think you'll see more of him in the West Ham team than being sold. Might give him on loan, you know, get a bit of Premier League experience. You can They can go on loan for a season. But why do that? Why do that? I think he's a good player. I think um, he could be the successor to Soufal in, in the long run. Sue Fowl, 30 years of age. Uh, and, uh, you know, Johnson, a lot of people say Johnson's not a natural wing back. A lot of people say Sue Fowl's not a natural wing back. If Moyes wants to revert to a, a back five with wing backs, Ashby sort of kind of fits that bill. So I've heard the news. Uh, apparently, Newcastle are in for him. But uh, from what I understand, uh, that's not likely to happen. Um, and then, of course, Pablo. Pablo's going back to Spain, isn't he? Well, of course he bloody well ain't. Um, look, look, the reason why Pablo Fornells is not going to Barcelona is quite simple. They're skint. Um, they can't register any players until they actually get rid of players. And uh, he's got a contract with us till 2024. And he's very much part of David Moyes' um, um, setup. You know, Fornells is one of the players. It's interesting because I looked at some of the uh, stats of the players over the last uh, season. And, and interestingly... Fornells' stats kind of went down a little bit. You know, his form has been on and off. Uh, and you could argue for several players over the last uh, end of the season, etc. their form wasn't wasn't that good. But I can't see for a minute that we're going to sell Fornells. Apparently, the rumour is that we're going to uh, sell him for around about £30 million. Barcelona can't even spend that because they've got to get rid of players in order to buy players. So, uh, again, 
another rumor which I don't think has really got much mileage in it. And Craig Dawson. This was interesting. Aston Villa are desperate to sign Craig Dawson. Craig Dawson's injured, and we don't know when he's coming back. You know, and there was talk about maybe Dawson coming back at the weekend. No sign of him. That I doubt very much that Craig Dawson will be back for the um, uh, any games this week either. You know, so as much as we love him to come back, um, I think it's very funny that Aston Villa are desperate to sign a player that's injured. So again, I don't think there's much uh, truth in that rumour either. And we've also got, let's not forget, we've got our issues as well at centre-back. Ogbonna, he's still finding his feet. He's still on his way back, but show uh, slowly. You know, he, he's, it looked good against uh, V-Borg, but then let's let's put it in perspective. It was against V-Borg, so the test wasn't as great as it would be in the Premier League, etc. And uh, so with Ogbonna still finding his feet, Aguerd still out probably until the new year, you know, hopefully beforehand, but probably until the new year. And we've got Kerra, who's new, who I think has been looking better and better. You know, with all those uh, players uh, out at the moment or finding their feet, do you really think we're going to get rid of Craig Dawson? I say look for the January transfer window. And I know we've heard we heard earlier in the summer that Dawson wants to move for family reasons and all that sort of stuff back up north. And that's possible. He's got one year left on his contract. I think uh, he'll honour that. I think we'll make sure we honour it as well. And uh, let's see what happens in January when all our players, all our centre-backs are fully fit, back again, etc. And then, then uh, Moyes might have a decision to make in January. But will he be going in the summer? I can't see it, to be quite honest with you. Very, very unlikely. Right, let's go back into your chat before we... Uh, before we uh, move on to the next part of the show. Good evening to you, Mark. Bring me down to earth, please. An absolute fantastic sign in Paqueta. Love it. Will any players be leaving? Well, just mentioned both four nows and Dawson. Hope that's appeased you a little bit, but you might know other things that I don't know. Um, Hammeret. Uh, sad news for Dawson. A huge miss, but he deserves to be pl uh, played before his career is over. Four nows, no chance. He's he caught me through and through. Uh, I don't think either will go. But but let's see what happens in January. I think January would be quite interesting for quite a few players, actually. Maybe Dawson. Uh, maybe someone like um, Ben Rama, maybe. Uh, maybe one or two. Lanzini, maybe, etc. I think we've got to see what happens between now and January. I think I showed you earlier on the squad even though we bought all these players, the squad uh, is still, like, you know, it's 23 players. You start taking holes out of it. You start taking Dawson out of there. You start taking Fornells or Lanzini or Ben Rama out of there. Then all of a sudden, you're going to start to have gaps again. So uh, unless we are still doing more business in the window, who knows? Me, We may well do. We may well do. But if we, um, if we do start selling players, then we're going to have to, now is the time that we're going to have to start buying like for like. Um, with Dawson, like I said, while Zuma is, you know, Zuma looked better at the weekend, much better than he did in the beginning of the season. Kerra finding his feet. I think Kerra will probably end up as right back, which is probably another reason why Dawson will stay as well. Uh, again, as I said, out till January, maybe, maybe sooner. Ogbonna might be back in another month or so. Who knows? So we're not selling Dawson, to be quite honest with you. I doubt it very much. And like I said, other front players. I know Paqueta will come in. Players like Paqueta. But this is what we want. We want competition in places, don't we? We want competition between the likes of even Bowen. We've got to have competition for him. You know, get him a kick up the arse because he didn't look that good at the weekend. Although he's a class player, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to put him down. Tyler, I know you probably won't understand this, but uh, I, don't, I know you probably won't, won't understand, but this transfer reminds me of a FIFA career mode. No, I don't understand. <laughs> Funky. Uh, I'm really surprised how we got Paqueta signed. It's kind of, it was uh, kept under the radar. Best signing of the window by any club, in my opinion, is superb. Ryan. Uh, hi, Silius. You got any discount codes? For... No, mate. I wish I had his money. Juha. Uh, I think if I feel good about transfers, this club is almost becoming too good to support. <laughs> We'll be down to, we might be back down to earth on Wednesday. Not that I think we will. Ian, Paqueta can play against, can't play against the Spuds. Yep. Uh, good evening to you, Derek. I'm concerned along with Vini whether Moyes can change his style to cope with these players or will we have another Hilaire situation? Um, 
Well, I'll talk about Pagetta and what uh, Leon had to do for him and, and give you an idea of what Moyes may have to do uh, in, in, later on in the show. Good evening to you, Emma. Here, here's the way I look at the, uh, this big £200 million outlay. It's not £200 million, but it's kind of close with all the add-ons, etc. It's like getting a pay rise at work, and with that expectation, you're expected to do more and achieve more. Absolutely. Moyes would be on thin ice from the board and the fans. Like I said earlier, I think we're going to have to cut Moyes some slack, to be honest with you, because it is a transitional year. I'm not saying we're going to be shit. Don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting it's going to be that bad a season, but it might be a season where because of the transition, then it may it, it may not quite work out, you know, as well initially. You know, it may take time to bed in. I think we've got to be patient. And I think the board having invested, having supported Mo uh, Moyes with this uh, outlay, I think they're going to be patient with him as well. Now, now. If we're down near the bottom of the league uh, come Christmas time, that might be another conversation that we have. Um, but I don't think that will happen. Mark, heard Barca may move in for one hours. Mentioned him already. So many rumours. Hope not. Love love the Nate. Love the fella. Absolutely. Sharky, good evening to you. Uh, we've signed plenty of players. The club has given Moyes a huge amount of money to spend. Fair dues. Absolutely fair dues. You know, we've always talked about, you know, the fans, especially away, always singing about where's the money gone. Well, there it goes. It's gone on transfers. <laughs> Uh, Devo, good evening to you. Found my missus in bed with a Brazilian. <laughs> Adam, no way we're selling uh, four nails to Barcelona. Uh, he's a Cockney now. He ain't going. You know, loads of rumours. You know, uh, Scarborough. I heard it. Uh, I heard if you drop your phone down the toilet, you just need to throw it into a midfield, sorts it right out. <laughs> into our midfield, sorts it right out. Good evening, the Malmo Sun. Good evening. Hello from Sweden. Hello, mate. Thank you for joining. As a Swedish Brazilian, I'll be following all West Ham United. Fantastic. Another new fan. Thank you for joining. By the way, by the way, if you're new to the channel and you're watching right now and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's just below there somewhere, somewhere around here. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification and hit the like button to let you know when I'm next on. And Malmo Sun, why not just stay here with us? And uh, there's a good crowd here. Always have a good good bit of banter. Good evening to you, Cyber. How are you, mate? I hope you're well. Good evening, Mr. Lockwood. How are you? Thank you for joining as well. Victor. Paqueta still needs a permit to be able to play. Yep, we've done that. Thank you, mate. James, good evening to you. Uh, in LA, passing a kidney stone. Who's in LA? You Are you in LA passing a kidney stone, James? I hope you're well. Mr. Tiley. Uh, I hope Moyes doesn't keep Paqueta on the bench for weeks, saying he needs time to adjust. He needs to come in and make an impact. I know what you're going to do, Steve. If if Paquetta's on the bench for the for the first two or three games that he's available for, you're going to lose it, aren't you? Just calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Emma, the Czech billionaire has a lot to do with this splash of cash. I think you may be right. I think you may absolutely be right because we know the board are uh, rich, but in a property and stuff like that. They're not cash rich. So maybe the, billion, the Czech billionaire may be behind a lot of this. Great. Great. Vinay. Derek, uh, Moyes needs to accept these players won't track back so much, but their presence will scare teams to hold back. Benny uh, 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 scares teams and they back off. Benny's been good, hasn't he, at the beginning of this season? Fantastic. Uh, he's not available Wednesday, uh, Cyber. I'm afraid lot. Um, Beanie, good evening to you. How are you? Better late than never? Who, you or me? I'm, I'm always late. I hope you're well. Uh, uh oh neil i saw neil as well in the chat so good evening to you neil as well uh even though we all uh, and you go uh, uh, saying hello to everyone else james good evening to you i don't believe that five center backs is too many especially as two of them can cover left back right back and central midfield keep them all i agree you know i actually do think um i actually do think that uh uh Kera, it, when we've got all our all our center backs back could possibly play right back uh, good evening, Christian. Reinforcements for Stow. Good evening. Yeah, well, from not just for Stow, but uh, for the whole season. Good evening, uh, Paul. I read somewhere that they're flying him to Hull tomorrow to sort out his work permit. Yeah, I don't know how long that'll take. Um, but uh, let's hope Let's hope they don't turn it down. <laughs> Foe, <laughs> there's only one pork sword. There's only one pork. Are, are you all right, Foe? You're singing about pork swords. Oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it, mate? <laughs> Don't kick the cat. No, cat's gone. You know, she said hello. Cat. Even the cat's up it happy. Lovely cat. She is lovely. Yeah. If I if I hurt her, I my life wouldn't be worth living. Uh my collective. I don't like your cat, the one that attacks a distant cousin. <laughs> 
<laughs> David M. Uh, what's going on with the Chelsea game? I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Well, I'll talk about it now. It's on It's on Saturday at three o'clock. They moved it. They moved it again. Shit, the way they've done that at such short notice. Amma, we're the second biggest spenders behind Man United. £226 million. <laughs> Good evening, Nigel. Are you not doing a... Are you not filming tonight? Uh, filming. Are you not uh, recording tonight? Good evening, Mr. Khan. How are you? Thank you for... Uh, Having your input. <laughs> Daniela. Uh, Ross Barkley, no, not on a free. He's got one year left. So if he was going anywhere, unless he's going on a free loan, then you'd have to pay for him. Uh, round about, I think, round about 10 million. Daniela. It said work permit being rushed through due to he's already played in the EU. Thank you for that. So I don't know what I don't know how these work permits work, to be honest with you. Ken, I heard he was going to have some kind of hearing tomorrow, early to uh, register by 12 p.m. to be able to play on Wednesday. So got conflicting stories here, people. Some are saying that it might happen. Some are saying it won't. Um, great, wouldn't it? Uh, Peter, in David Moyes, we must trust. Uh, I feel sure we would do better this season than the last couple with the quality of new recruits. Absolutely. Uh, Nigel won't play Wednesday and may not be ready permit wise for Saturday. So there you go. You got, I, I did hear the same story that he's uh, going to Hull. And I thought, why? We transferred him to Hull on loan for the season. Uh, but seriously, I did hear that. So I don't know if he'll be allowed. I mean, I can't see them make, making a favour uh, for us. Can you? Like giving him a, 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 a work permit sooner? I don't know. Um, Tyler, I think uh, Coventry is our 24th now. Yeah, you know, it doesn't look at the moment, it doesn't look like Connor Coventry's going anywhere. Well done to the lad as well, because uh, if anyone deserves a, a, a bit of a run in the in the, uh, in, in, in the the senior team, Connor Coventry's done his time and maybe Moyes has seen enough of him to think he might be worth keeping. Amma, got to give the board credit before they came in. We was a selling club. Now look at us, second biggest spenders in the Premier League. We're all shaking our heads, aren't we? We are all wondering what the hell is going on. Michael. Um, I'm I'm of the opinion Dawson may be sold in January after a good. Yep, said that already, mate. I'm a bit behind. I'm I'm already half an hour behind on the chat, so I do apologise, Mr. Rolf. How are you? See you Wednesday. What time? Um, uh, Paul said five o'clock in the uh, in the Grove. So I'll see you there. Amma, I don't understand some YouTube channels that have a grind against the board. This is the second time we've spent two hundred million. Each to their own. Everyone has an opinion about. Uh, I don't. I can't do that. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm virtually being called bored in because I won't be bored out. But uh, I, I've always been. I admit it. I've always been on the fence about the board. You know, I think what they did to us in the past. You know, about moving away from the bowling and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I can understand people being upset about that, and and I get that. Um, and then making stupid promises. Oh, well, with Champions League in five years or whatever it is they said, they were stupid promises that they should never have uh, they should never have said. But uh, on on the whole, they kept us above water. We've not gone bust through got this through COVID, etc. They've now spent money. They spent money when Pellegrini was here. They've now done it with um, with our current manager Moyes. They do spend money. Uh, but I don't know. So I'm a bit on the, fen on, on the fence. I get it about the past. I get it about uh, moving away from our old ground and all that sort of stuff. But uh, at the moment, they are showing where their money is. doesn't matter. You know, uh, Kratinsky, he's now part of the board. You know, they clearly bought him in for investment. So maybe they, that's what they're doing. They, they've got a plan in place. And I'm still pinching myself that we've spent so much money. Anyway, Richard, Dawson is gone and Benny is going. And Fornals is talking to Barca. No, no, and no. Uh, Chris Harris, uh, Skamaka uh, and Paqueta are both extremely highly regarded in European football. Incredible signings. Right? Fucking fantastic, eh? You know, fantastic. Patrick, GSB in. Frema. Uh, yeah, Kerr had done well since unfortunate start. I think he's settled in nicely, to be honest with you. He's settled in very nicely. Um, Ahmed, still need a right winger, someone to challenge Bone. Well, I think that is um, Cornet. I think Cornet can play in a, a several different positions. And if you look, you know, you think about some of the signings that we bought. Uh, Emerson can play at left back, can play left midfield, can play left left wing, left wing back. Uh, Cornet can play left back, can play left midfield, can play left wing back, can play striker, can play out on the right uh, to, to back up uh, Bowen. Um, for now, we know he's a versatile footballer. Pack, pack, pack a. Packet uh, could also play in various different positions. Clever signings. You know, Kerra, uh, play at right back, centre, centre back, etc. 
you know, so we kind of like Moyes has kind of got players in and, uh, you know, they can play different positions. So I think, Ahmed, that uh, you'd be looking at corner being a sort of a, a backup sort of thing to um, to Bowen, uh, if need be, on the on that right side. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip a few, so uh, do forgive me if I do. Um, Ronda and Tony Stell, do we now have a Premier League starting eleven and a different cup eleven? Good, good question. Because um, we know that's what Moyes uh, tried to do last season, isn't it? Um, you know, uh, until until we got a lot, lot of injuries. If you remember last season, his preference at the back was Zuma and Ogbonna, and Diop and uh, Dawson were being used in the cup competitions, and then because we got injuries, Dawson came in more regularly, etc. But I wonder if he'll do that. We know Ariola. You know, I thought Ariola would be our starter in the Premier League, but Ariola is our cup keeper and Fabianski is our um, uh, Premier League keeper. So I wonder if he will do. I, I think I think he'll be mixing and matching uh, this season. I think um, there'll be certain players that will start in cup games, maybe like Ariola. Uh, but I think um, dependent on who we play, I think he now has the opportunity to mix it up and, and have different players in different positions, different formations and all that sort of stuff. So it'd be interesting to see. Bradley, Brojar and Barkley would be nice. Um, yeah, Barkley's gone quiet. Brojar, it's still sort of like 50-50 as to whether whether we might get him or not. Um, Zuma is... I <laughs> Bo, I see Downs as a project, uh, squad backup player. Absolutely. Don't expect too much this season. We'll We'll see him. But I don't think he'll get as much game time as uh, as maybe some of the other new signings. I agree, Michael. Now is this? Uh, now is all this spending to make the club more attractive to prospective buyers? Why would they spend? Why would they need to? With two thousand and twenty three approaching, no. I mean, you know, if they want to kept their money, they could have kept it in their pockets and not spent anything, and it would have still been an an attractive, viable proposition. You know, being a London team, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, not having a lot of outlay. You know, only paying rent for the for the stadium and so on. Why would they have bothered spending all this money if they're going to sell? I'm not so sure, Michael. I know a lot of fans think that they're going to go next season. I'm I'm not so sure. You know, let let let's think, let's see. Um, Huge. I think we're getting one or two loans yet. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. If we do, then quite possibly we might go, we maybe get rid of one or two players. Chris, there's rumours Ashby could be off uh, for two and a half million. Yeah, mentioned him already. Good evening to you, Paul. Uh, Downs will play way more uh, when we sell Rice, whenever that is. If, if we sell Rice... If we sell rice, Kent, I did go to Villa. As I also said at the start of the window, we need eight players. You did indeed, mate. And you're spot on. And we might both be wrong by the end of the, you know, it's uh, deadline days on Thursday. I'm half thinking about doing a show, uh, maybe coming on for the last few hours of the deadline window, thinking about it. But I just wonder if it might be a bit quiet for us. I just don't know um, if we're going to sign anyone else. I could be wrong. Uh, drawn ink, uh, decent standard and decent age as well. The, the player, 25 years of age, you know, not yet in his prime, I would say. Uh, Rice staying depends on trophies, Bradley. Yeah, I agree, Chris. But, 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 but having said that, Bradley, if Declan looks around him and goes, this is ambitious and we do quite kind of all right, but not quite there, he might turn around and say, I'll give it another season. He might run his contract down and leave for nothing. Chris, I've run out of baby oil after this. <laughs> right, I'm gonna. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go to the uh, next part of the show now uh, before you lot get a bit carried away. <laughs> what did I do? Did I do? I did. Um, oh yeah, it's the match review. So let's talk about the two games that uh, were played this week, shall we? Or last week, should I say? So um, on on Thursday, uh, we needed to well, we needed to win. We just needed to not lose. 
uh, the game against Viborg in order to get through to the group stages proper of the Europa Conference League. And we did the job. And you know what? We looked an awful lot better away than we did in our first leg against uh, Viborg. I know we won the game 3-1 and then 3-0 respectively, but we looked a little bit more coherent on Thursday. Ariola starting with uh, Bonner again. Nice uh, to see him play the, the whole game. Kerry, we've already mentioned. Creswell was the captain of the evening. Uh, Socek and Lanzini, given uh, old oh, Declan wasn't, wasn't available. And then uh, for now, it's Corne and Skamaka. Do you know what? The game was decent. The, the game was, uh, um, we, we kind of, we didn't need to do much, did we, really, to be quite honest with you. We were comfortable. You know, uh, V-Borg had, um, had to come at us in order to get anything out of the game. And uh, I think we sort of like killed it off completely when uh, Skamaka, what a goal poacher's goal. The way he was waiting for the ball to come across, he was behind the player, uh, the defender, when, when the ball was about to be hit across. And then he stepped in in front of him and got a great strike in. And he, you know what? It's what we've been missing. You know, Man City are talking about, uh, you know, that the final piece of the jigsaw with Haaland coming in, having a proper striker. We've got a proper striker now as well, to be quite honest with you. And it was uh, it was fantastic to see him play. I think he had a good game. Uh, t- sort of, uh, you know, tired a little bit in the second half. But uh, I think he had an excellent first half, to be quite honest with you. And uh, and, I, and long may it rain. And I, and I think he deserved uh, the start he had. Uh, against uh, Villa at the weekend as well. Uh, Benny came in. I mean, Benny has just been on fire, isn't he? And he's been uh, he's been really, really good. And he scored a fantastic goal, second goal, good run in. And that started for, with a Skamaka pass and, and through to uh, Ben Rama as well, which is really, really good to see. Um, I think uh, we are looking at looking good. I think it's uh, it was a game that we sort of, you know, so we, we we didn't have to do much, but but we did enough to, to win it comfortably. Uh, we got uh, the fans out there. The whole 1100 uh, capacity was taken up by the fans. Uh, and if you if anyone watched the preview of the game uh, that I did uh, earlier last week, when I had uh, the CEO of VBorg, Morton Morton uh, Jensen on, he talked about having a fan area just by just by the stadium, etc. Um, and it's a, such a shame that I couldn't uh, load Dodsey's video because Dodsey showed you know the fan area and so on, and uh, it, lo- it looked like good. You know, it, the, the the Danish were very welcoming. Uh, it was fun, even though they lost. They were a the great crowd. They had you know singing all the way through, etc. And uh, we wished them well in the future. And uh, there's a nice affinity there uh, between us and that Danish club now. And then of course. Uh, on Sunday, we were wondering what was going to happen. Loads of speculation. Was Skamaka going to start? Was uh, Moyes going to change the formation, etc.? He surprised us all in some ways. And uh, he did change the formation. Uh, and I know it, it didn't work the first half uh, against uh, Villa, but uh, Emerson got his uh, debut for, for West Ham. And, and Skamaka did start, which it was really good to see. I was worried in the first half. It wasn't it wasn't the greatest game to watch, to be quite honest with you. It was quite slow. It, we looked we we kind of looked nervous about going forward. That that was the it was the odd thing. We like uh, with with wing backs, I thought that maybe we kind of take it to them, you know, spread the game, get down the Emerson going down one wing, etc. Emerson hardly came out of his um his own air his own half. Uh, in the first half. And maybe that's just a matter of uh, getting acclimatised to the team and so on. Uh, but we were we we were OK. And, and Villa, to be really honest with you, uh, Villa, <laughs> um, it's funny, isn't it? Because Villa bought players. They brought them in really early in order to bed them in and so on and so forth. And yet they don't look right at all. You know, mind you, I don't care about Villa. Uh, I care more. I care about West Ham. But, uh, you know, so getting players in early doesn't always necessarily work for you. Doesn't always necessarily mean that you're going to get off to a flyer. And so we, um, our first half was, you know, OK, contained, nothing exciting from either team. And then in the second half, when, uh, when, the, when the team came out in the second half, he made a change and it was a positive change. He, he put Ben Rama on and it, it completely changed the game. We went to a four at the back, a four, four, two, three, one. And, uh, and Ben Rama changed the game for us. I think, like I said earlier, he's been fantastic. Is he finally getting the love? Look, Moyes gave him a hug after the game, etc. But. Moyes still hasn't come out and given him. I, I saw some parts of the uh, interview he had and he kind of, he, he's still hesitant to give Ben Rama full praise. I don't know. I don't know the character of Ben Rama. Maybe this is the sort of tough love that he needs in order to keep him going. I don't, I don't know. I don't think every player responds to that, but uh, um, 
look, Ben Rama's doing the business, and uh, people sort of saying that now Paqueta's in, we get rid of Ben Rama or get or get rid of Fornells, etc. No, it's all this is all about competition, and I think Ben Rama was superb, and he changed the game for us. We went, we were a lot more direct in the second half. Uh, we, they weren't dis, they weren't hassling us in any way uh, in attack, and they had nothing really to to offer, which allowed us to play our game, and it was great to see us taking the game to uh, Villa. That's one of the things we've been lacking. We're talking about, you know, not being able to change it up. All credit to David Moyes. He tried it at one system in the first half. It didn't work. He changed it around. He made a half-time sub. I mean, when was the last time? I'd love someone to give me a stat as to the last time he made a half-time substitution. Unbelievable. We were like, fuck me. He's got a sub coming on at half-time and a positive move as well. And it was great. I think we were a lot more coherent in the second half. We took it to them. You know, we had more chances and so on. And uh, I don't care if our deflection was a massive deflection and it was going to go out in the corner or corner line or whatever. If we if we got what we deserved. We got the luck that we needed that we didn't have against Forrest a few weeks before. And, and it was great, you know. And look at the, uh, the minute we scored, all of a sudden, every player on that pitch, their eyes lit up. It was as if this is it. We're now, we've really now, all right, okay, you know, it shouldn't happen four games into the season, but we're really now off and we're up and running. And all of a sudden you saw a spring in the step of a number of players. And it was really, really good to see. There's one player uh, that kind of still not firing yet. And it's a bit disappointing. We could have, we could have won it 2-0. If Bowen had um, sort of... Um, Squared it off to, uh, I think it was Ben Rama on the far side, rather than trying to sort of, I think Bowen is trying to, you know, he, he's kind of desperate to get back into the swing of it, be the goal scorer, be the top goal scorer again, etc. He's got to remember it's a team game. And he could, if he'd looked up and saw Ben Rama was free, we would have we would have uh, won the game 2-0. But I think he's still finding his feet. And we've got to remember, I think it was Nigel that said on Friday night, that uh, we've got to remember some of these players have only been back uh, uh, after doing internationals, they've only been back recently. They've only had a, a little bit of time in pre-season, not quite as long as some of the other players. And and I think, um, ironically, if there were two players that were, I don't want, I don't want to say they're our worst players, but didn't have a great game, it was Declan and it was Bowen. And they're two players that have come back slight, slightly later than the others because of international duty and so on. And uh, I think after we scored, Declan all of a sudden came alive and sort of like started to really dictate again in the middle of the park. Bowen just needs a little bit more time. He's still not quite there. But imagine when he starts firing, Paqueta alongside him, Ben Rama, Corne is back up, etc. It's going to be quite exciting, isn't it? It's going to be quite exciting. Um, Kera, I've got to, you know, I've got to say Kera looked great on Sunday. Uh, I think I think he looked fantastic in defence. I think he's settled in nicely. He's a, he's a player. You can see he's a classy footballer. You can see that he's got uh, quite a lot of talent and uh, and I like him. I think he's going to be one of those unsung heroes throughout the season where he's going to play his game. He's going to be just get better and better and better. And I think we're looking good. We're looking good. And it was a good win. It was our thousandth Premier League game uh, in our history. Um, and I've got some figures here. Where have I got the figures? Uh, we've won 366 of them. No, we haven't. We've won 336 of them. We've uh, lost 411 and we've got 253 draws. Um, so there you go. Um, so um, it was good. I think uh, I think all credit to Moyes. I think all credit to the players. You know, David Moyes tried one system. At halftime, he saw it wasn't working. He changed it. He changed, uh, he changed personnel as well. He made us a more direct. And I think it was a good game. The second half and the fans, the away fans, Kent would uh, attest to this. The away, or the away fans were superb. You know, um, it, it, you just can't fault the away fans. Uh, if, if anyone's ever lucky enough to sort of go to an away game, you know, the atmosphere is great. You know, it helps when you when you're half pissed by the time you get to the stadium. But it, it was it was just a superb day out. Fantastic day. So well done to West Ham. And I think I think it was a really, really good, you know, a really good tie uh, to win. Right. So we've got uh, a number of fixture changes um, because we're in Europe, etc. Now, actually, let's talk a little bit about Europe and let's just go through this very, very briefly. Look, um, the, the groups, uh, we talked about this last week. I did a show on this and then we talked a little bit about this on Friday night on the late, late. Um, so these are the groups, they, the, the groups, uh, Istanbul, 
can never remember their surname. Fiorentina, Hearts of Midlothian and RFS, Riga, uh, FS um, there. So I think um, probably Fiorentina and Istanbul are looking to probably try and get through that group stage. I'll get back to West Ham in a minute. Villarreal, you could argue pretty easy sort of draw there. Villarreal against Hapoel um, uh, from Israel, uh, Austria Vienne and uh, Poznan. Lech Poznan, and then uh, Group 4, uh, AZ Alkmaar, Apollon Limassol, that fantastic, brilliant Cypriot team that we all know about. <laughs> Vaduz and uh, Ukrainian side, the Nipro. Uh, and so I would imagine that uh, Alkmaar will probably be looking to win that group. And then Ghent against Mould, uh, Shamrock Rovers and Jugadans uh, in uh, Group 5. And you probably expect Ghent to sort of get through that as well. Uh, group 6, Partizan uh, Cologne, Nice and Slovakia. That's a tough group, to be quite honest with you. Probably the second toughest group in the league, I would say. Uh, with Partizan, Cologne, Nice, you know, all pretty decent teams. All pretty decent teams. Uh, group 7, Slavia Prague, Cluj, uh, uh, Turkish side, Slivaspor and Balkany. And I would imagine Slavia Prague uh, will be looking to uh, get through that group stage. And of course, the final is in Prague. It's, it is in Prague. Yes, the finals in Prague as well. And then Group 8, Basel, Slova, Bratislava, Zalgiris and Piunic. And I would expect Basel to be confident of winning that group as well. So going back to our group, it's a tough group. Or, or certainly on uh, maybe on paper it is. You know, West Ham, FC uh, SB, who are for, uh, uh, former Stal Bucharest, Anderlecht and Siltborg. And uh, maybe you know, we, again, we talked about this, and maybe I was asking, are we looking at past glories? And maybe we had a couple of uh, um, uh, Stal Bucharest fans in, in the chat uh, last week, and they were sort of saying, you know, if we get a, if we get a draw out of you, we'd we'll be happy with that. So maybe I'm, you know, I don't want to do anyone a disservice, but I'm ner I'm slightly nervous about this. We've got to make sure that we uh, we do really well in in this group and, and and get through and get through to the to the uh, playoff stages, the knockout stages, sorry. But I think it's probably the tougher group. Andelex, you know, they're not a bad side. Uh, Stal Bucharest are not a bad side. Silkborg, don't know much about them, but uh, from what I understand from our friends from Viborg, they're kind of that they're, they're, they're rivals, local rivals. Well, 40 kilometer or whatever it is, distance between them. Um, but uh, my understanding is that uh, V-Borg are a better team than Silkborg. But, you know, all to play for and quite looking forward to that as well. So with the chain, uh, with, with those uh, um, uh, group stages, these are the games that we've got coming up. So we start our uh, Europa League uh, uh, competition on the 8th of September, home to FCSB, Stal Bucharest at 8pm. And then we go away to Silkborg on the 15th of September in Denmark at 8 p kickoff 8 p.m. there as well. And then uh, away again to uh, Anderlecht uh, at 5.45 kickoff uh, on the 6th of October. And then on the 13th at home to Anderlecht on the 8th, uh, sorry, on the 13th at 8 p.m. 27th of October, we have Silkborg at home. And then our last game of the season, uh, our last game of the group stage, sorry, is away to uh, Stal Bucharest on the 3rd of November at 8 p.m. Right, there are other changes, aren't there? So Chelsea, I mean, I mean, the last thing that uh, I get, I guess uh, anyone thinks of really is uh, the fans. You know, they don't seem to give a shit uh, whether it affects the fans or not. You know, we had it changed once for uh, for TV. We've had it changed back again because of the Champions League. Um, and even the Chelsea groups, the Chelsea fan groups are as a uh, pissed off as this as as, as uh, West Ham fans are. You know, it, it seems like the last lot of people to be even considered or consulted with are the fans themselves. It seems that, um, uh, you know, Premier League and UEFA and whoever else is involved just seems to, and TV companies, just, oh, well, when was you going to change it, change it back? And the irony is it's on at three o'clock on a Saturday. You know, if that was, if that stayed at three o'clock on a Saturday in the first place, everyone would have been cock -a -hoop. Fuck me. We've got a, a Saturday game at 3 p.m. Fantastic. But the fact it's changed, so everyone changed their plans, etc. a week before the game itself, and now it's changed back again to go back to a Saturday. It has really pissed people off, and I totally get it, and I totally understand it. It's not on, really, and I don't, I don't think, I don't think um, it should be allowed. I don't think they should be allowed to make changes so, you know, so, um, uh, so with such short notice. There are other changes, of course, because now we're we're in uh, the group stages. Uh, Everton away. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, other changes now include, um, yeah, Everton away, which is on the Sunday, the 18th of September, which kicks off at 2 p.m. 
Uh, and then we host Fulham on Sunday, the 9th of October, kick off again at 2 p.m. And then our home game against Crystal Palace will move from the current date of 5th of November, but they haven't given us a date yet. And guess why? Because the TV companies haven't decided when we're going to play. Oh, well. Anyway, let's move on uh, with your with your comments. Um, <laughs> fuck off, Cyber. I've just read something that I... Sorry, I shouldn't have sworn. Um, let's scroll down. Let's go scroll down quite a bit. Richard, uh, Lanzini signing contract extension if Lanzini goes. Lanzini signing contract extension if... La well, Lanzini's in last year of his contract. He's got a two-year uh, option. Um, I don't know. I... I I, I'm, I'm I'm not sure what will happen to Lanzini at the moment. Um, the the uh, the extension hasn't been uh, triggered yet, but it wouldn't surprise me. He's 29 years of age now. He's always said he will finish his career at his uh, uh, club back in uh, um, Argentina, um, at River Plate. I don't know. I I think we'll we'll just have to see. I think there's going to be maybe maybe some movement in January. Maybe not Lanzini, but certainly some one or two other players. Sam. I love this. Uh, happy hammers all over the gaff. Let's top it off with three points against Spurs. Absolutely. Hammerette. Uh, he will be the assist king this season, feeding Big Mac. <laughs> Big smack. Uh, I'd see a show with Anton the Rapper, especially with Goldfish on bass. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but anyway, good evening, R. I can't believe it's actually happened. I don't think any of us can, mate. But uh, keep pinching yourself. Um, GP, on Reddit, the rumour was still looking 45 and being 60. Got too much for <laughs> Reddit. I don't look at Reddit. What, what is, is that another website or something? Uh, Sean MWH, good evening to you, mate. Would love Brojar so we uh, solid up front, even if we don't sign anyone else. I'm well happy. I'm well happy as well. Amma. The last time we spent 200 million was with Pellegrini. The expectation on Moyes now will be immense from the board. Yeah, you said that earlier. And I think I, I covered that earlier on. Uh, Richard, Lanzini comes and goes like, George, Philip, uh, dare we believe there is more to come? Um, I would be really surprised if there is more to come, but we'll talk about transfers in a moment. Adam, with the uh, uh, Europa Conference and, and top eight will be a good season, but we could still get top six. Why not go for top four? Why not go for top four? Um, I've got a horrible feeling Lanzini would be off before Wednesday. I don't know. We need a squad. You know, I look look at it again. We've still only got 23 players there. We need all those players. We need players that can be versatile so we can change it, so we can change formation when needed, either before, during, uh, or during a game or whatever. And Lanzini will play his role in that. So I don't know. I don't know that uh, he'll go. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, of course. Keith. Uh, we may have to take a step backwards before we start moving forwards again. There are long-term signings. Uh, Kind of what I alluded to, and I, and I agree with you totally. Fo, Stell's going, to, thank you very much, especially if... Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, good evening to you, Steve. How are you, mate? I hope you're well. Uh, happy, are you, happy are you Are you signing Lanzi? <laughs> She'd have him like a, like a shot. Uh, Daniela, I'm uh, sure I'm proud of it. The world, a uh, bigger place uh, than this little island. Uh, let's scroll down a bit more. Mark, um, I know how our dog feels. He's a 10-month-old 10, 10 puppy and he's on heat tonight. So am I. <laughs> James, uh, is it okay to say I told you so from memory? We both said not to sell first-team players from the last couple of seasons, string the market. <laughs> say it, mate. You told us so. Pat Holland fan, good evening to you, mate. Relief is how I feel after after yesterday. I, I'm, I'm, I don't think I was relieved. I think... I looked at Villa, and with the greatest of respect to them, I'm sure they'll 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 come good. But they showed nothing to make us worry uh, in that game yesterday. To be quite honest with you, um, I'm not relieved. I, I'm uh, I kind of I did say I think we'll win, and I wasn't saying that tongue in cheek. Um, Daniela, uh, I live in the uh, Sweden, and I like the EU idea. I don't know what the EU idea you're talking about, but uh, let's move on. Bill, still, we really need to believe that that Mo. You've got, enough, you've got something else coming up, haven't you? Have you hit the send button before? Um, tell me what you mean, Bill. Um, Daniel, good evening to you, mate. Uh, need <laughs> Why is everyone talking? <laughs> I hope we're not going to go into a stadium when he f plays first and there's going to be all these blokes really horny. You know, like, uh, you know, I don't know, the, these... Uh, you know, boy bands when all the girls, you know, go, go nuts. Could see all the lads going... Paqueta, Paqueta with like, 
<laughs> Where am I going with this? Huge. Uh, still, apparently it's being reported that the visa needs to be in by tomorrow to play versus Spurs. Can't get London appointments, so they're flying into home. Right. He might be available then. He might be available. Let's scroll down a bit more to catch up because I'm kind of, I'm now 40 minutes behind on the chat. Daniel, you've only got Tim because Edson uh, didn't fancy him. Uh, not good enough for Newcastle United, the Ridge Club in the land. Good evening to you, Daniel. Thank you for joining, mate. Much appreciated. We got him because um, we've sold him the dream. We've sold him the dream. <laughs> Hammeret, uh, I know it will be a sad time for sure, but I'd rather than go on a high, not just benched all season, than go. He's, you're talking about uh, um, Lanzini. Uh, Daniela, Vino, the biggest mistake this country has done leaving the EU. Why do you think food prices have gone up? No more EU money for the French. Oh, should we do a show about um, the state of the nation? Because it's not good, is it? Jimmy, Daniel, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Blair gave that right. Let, let, let's um, let, let's talk politics elsewhere. Good evening to you, Lee. How are you, mate? I hope you're well. Let's scroll down a bit more. Uh, Sharky, I think some opposition fans are disappointed West Ham. I think they're all disappointed that we've signed West Ham. Uh, he's signed for West Ham. You know, uh, and I'm going to get to the uh, um, transfers in a minute and give you a little story, if you haven't already heard about it, as to who tried to get him. And it, you know weren't Newcastle. Michael, changing from the under-23s to the under-21s, does that mean most of the older players have to be loaned? It does indeed, which is why we've got uh, Otto beko has gone out. Um, uh, Chester's has gone out. I think Trot has gone out as well. We've got a number of other players that have gone out on loan. And the uh, um apparently is uh, it will imminently be going to Swansea, which I think is a very good move for him. You know, playing in the championship, that's somewhere that I think he could maybe really shine. And I hope he does. Now, he's in his last year of his contract, uh, Oco Flex. But uh, maybe we've got an option to sort of extend that uh, beyond this season. Adam, Newcastle owners, uh, 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 calm, calm. Um, let's scroll down a bit more. Schmeagel, good evening to you, mate. Thank you for joining. I hope you're well. Um, who else have we got? Ian Proctor. Paqueta heading to Hull to attempt to get a work permit uh, lunchtime. Yep. Thank you, people, for updating me on that. Jerry, keep it to football. Other, yeah, absolutely. Let, let's keep it calm. Uh, Paul, uh, how many players do you think Koncheski will need to sign from the women's team in order for anyone to actually... Now, now, Paul. Now, now. When I talk about West Ham, I talk about the whole family. That means women's teams, under-21s, under-18s, and so on. You know, come on, mate. We've got to give them a little bit of uh, mileage. Uh, real. Um, real. Uh, Nigel. Three FA Cups, one Euro Cup Winners' Cup and one World Cup, Dan. Who was that? <laughs> Two. D Dan. How many, of, <laughs> Dan, how many of these have you won in your history? Oh, mate. You know, I'll tell you what, subscribe to my channel because that just boosts my numbers and I appreciate that. Uh, even if you are a um, uh, a fan from... Uh, we welcome fans from other other uh, teams here because we, we're quite respectful. So be respectful back if you don't want to get kicked off. Um, GP. Why do Trolls have to spoil it? <laughs> Calm down. Uh, let's go. I'm not going to do any more of Daniel's comments, so uh, I'm just going to avoid them. Schmeagel. Uh, still, think we could do a couple more signings. Think we could do with a couple of more signings. We'd love to sign Brozier and Gallagher. Could we? I'm not. I don't know. I actually genuinely don't know if we do need any more signings. I'd like to get Gallagher, but that would really create competition in midfield, wouldn't it? Tony, Dawson still lives up north and travels down south every day for training in the match. And I know there's rumour about him going, but I think he'll see out the last year of his contract, to be quite honest with you. Lyle, L, good evening to you. It's Brexit every day of the week. <laughs> Keep the politics out of it. Good evening to you, Kylo. Uh, we have a really strong bench. Boy, don't we have. Don't we just. You know, it's an unbelievable bench. <laughs> Mice Collective. Stell's cat to Fulham rumour for 10 million. Any truth in that? No, uh, the missus wouldn't sell her for love nor money. Um, Ruben, I can't wait to see some Samba skills from Paqueta. Uh, been a while since we've had a player who can get the crowd going. The new Piet. What did Moyes say uh, a week or two ago? I need more Piets in the team. Fuck me, he's got a, a Piet plus, hasn't he? Anthos. Uh, evening to you, mate. I hope you're well. Uh, I think I'm one of the I'm one of the board's worst critics. Credit where credit's due. Humble pie for me. Heading on to Premier League. Hi, spenders. Sully's new wife has done. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> yeah, Vino. Paqueta must have been impressed with West Ham after they got out in the year. Well, he saw them, didn't he? He played against us. Um, so uh he must have been he must have been impressed for him to come. Scott, Paqueta, Skamaka, Corne, 
Uh, Kera, Aguerd, Ariola, all class, 10 out of 10 window. Absolutely. But some people still want more signings. <laughs> Jerry, uh, lots of other factors, team blending and, and positions and tactics. I agree. We must back Moyes' plan. We've got to be patient. This is the time when we're going to have to really, really, I can't stress that enough because I think we can get as fans and, and, and yeah, we, we do have expectations and why not? So we should. Uh, but I, I agree. I think we've got to be as, as a fan base, we've got to be patient. We've got to, if things don't go right every game, we can't just turn on. The last thing we want is to, is to you know, is, is for players like Skamaka and Paqueta, et cetera, to be turned around going, what have I come to? You know, the, the, the fans are booing because we lost the game. And we do have to be really, really patient. Bernie, uh, I would like uh, the Belgium lad to come along, Vanneken, uh, as the midfield does worry me at times, but this will give us some options. What do you think? I think, you know, talked about Lanzini a minute ago and, and, and four nails. If if you want to mix it up there, Lanzini, as we've seen quite a few times, especially last season, did start a couple of times alongside, I think when, when Declan was injured, he started alongside Socek. And he can get in there. He's not, it's, I don't think it's his natural game, but he can do a job in there. You know, so I do think we have, have options. And uh, people have asked that is whether we think uh, we're going to, uh, Moise is going to change formation. And I think he might take a leaf out of uh, Leon's book, uh, what they did. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. Going to get to transfers. And I'm going to talk a little bit about, a bit, little bit more about uh, um, Paqueta and how he did wonders at, uh, at Leon. Iron Clare, good evening to you. Wonder if Lingard is regretting his decision. Who? Uh, uh, or he knew he wouldn't be good enough to get in this squad. You know what? Do you know what? A, a 29 year old Lingard, or who want who wanted a shed load of money, or a 25 year old Paqueta? Who's your money on? Uh, mice. Uh, we really miss four now. If he goes, he ain't going. He's like us. Mice important working behind the scenes and not giving enough credit. I think he, he deserves a lot of credit. Lennon. Best shirt in your opinion? Best shirt in your opinion? What, West Ham shirt? This one, you mean? This ain't bad, is it? Not bad at all. Uh, is that what you meant? Sorry, mate. Jerry. Um, don't forget Anson. He didn't set the world alight. He didn't. No, but he's not Paqueta. John, hammer, hammer, uh, can you moderate Daniela, please? This isn't a political forum. Calm it down, people. Let's talk politics another time. Ian, hard to pick our best 11. Have not been able to say that for a long time. E uh, epic. Uh, Declan has no excuse not to sign a contract extension now that the club has shown ambition. I think it's going to, I think it's what I said earlier on. He's going to wait and see, isn't he now? He's going to say to himself, let's see what happens uh, over the season. Uh, and then I'll, and then I'll decide as to what I'm going to do. And I, and I think uh, Declan is going to look at this squad uh, and he's going to say to himself, why not stay? You know, I can be part of something quite big. I can be part of something good. You know, I can lead this team, uh, you know, th this team, this team that Moyes has put together. I could lead this team to sort of like a, um, you know, a, lo a lot of good in the future. He might certainly be looking at this uh, squad and, and make, maybe thinking to himself, this is, could be a season uh, which can make him change his mind about, you know, thinking about him leaving. Let's see. Let's see. It'll be very, very interesting to see what happens over the season, to be quite honest with you. Um, right. Uh, what else have we got here? Excuse me one second. I've just got distracted. I've got to get rid of that. Uh, forgive me one second. I'm going to come back to you guys. There we go. Um, George, uh, come on, give David Moyes a break. One of the best managers in the league. No part-time fans, please. Uh, George, you know, I agree. I, I think we do have to give uh, uh, Moyes uh, time. He's got to. He's got to prove now that he can actually do it with this squad. That that this is the big thing uh, that's now going to happen. He's got to prove that he can manage a big squad. Uh, and and then and it, I, I think I think he'll get there. He'll do it his way. It may not be the way we like, um, but he'll do it his way. Anthos Moyes is uh, sport for choice. He won't know what to do with all the creativity. So long as he doesn't dampen it, I don't mind. Um, Smeagol, Tottenham didn't look great against Forest, especially in defence. Moyes needs to put out a more attacking formation against them. And I think he would have learned his lesson from uh, um, from uh, on, on Sunday. You know, didn't work in the first half. He changed it around in the second half, took the game to them. Can't be too open against a team like Spurs because they do have players that they can hurt us. Uh, Henry, 
What is Paqueta's uh, work permit? I think we mentioned that already. Apparently, he's being rushed to hold to try and get it through. I don't know if, if he can get it through in time. He might be available for the Spurs game, but we don't know. Um, but if they do get it in through in time, then it looks like he may certainly be uh, eligible to play against Chelsea. Um, Chewbacca, good evening to you. The, the Chewbacca's secret love child. The rumour I heard is we have 120 to 130 million spend and around 50 million in loans available from uh, Kratinsky. Well, we're there. We kind of more or less spent it. Um, Vino, well, no, that is actually true. Because uh, if you remember, we were told in January we had 50 million pounds available and Moyes didn't spend any of it. So there was 50 million pound in the bank anyway. Uh, and then uh, there was speculation as to how much more money we might have available. And there was rumor of 150 million pounds, which included the 50 million from uh, January. So it looks like that's what we spent. Um, Lytel, who's the accountant on this channel? What's our wage bill now? I don't know, but I'll find out for you, mate, because uh, I think it's going to be quite interesting. But let's not forget. Let's not forget. I mean, I don't know what Skamaka, Skamaka, uh, no, not Skamaka, uh, Paqueta. Paqueta was around on around 46 grand uh, uh, a week at uh, Leon. Apparently, he's doubled his money, so 90 odd grand. But let's not forget, we let Yarmolenko go. Go. He was on 115 grand a week. Uh, Fredericks was on, I think, 60, 70 grand a week. A number of players, Noble, 50, 60, 70 grand a week. Let's not forget, there's about eight players that have left that have opened, that uh, freed up the um, uh, the uh, salary back. And uh, these players that are coming, I bet you, you know, depending on what we've uh, paying them each week, I bet you it's not going to be too far away from what we were paying all these other play, uh, players that have left. Uh, Epic. Uh, still, they terminated Rob. I, I didn't know that. Do you know what? I didn't know that. So Barkley incoming. I don't, thank you for that. I didn't. I had no idea that that happened. Damien, uh, good night to you. Thank you, mate. Good night. Thank you for watching. Uh, with all these uh, signings, do you think Moyes will uh, do what he did with Ariola last season? For I, I hope. I, I think, like I said earlier, I think there'll be some players that will be considered. Uh, players for cup competitions but I think other players that he's signed he'll be looking at you you know using them in both competitions I think um Bill Barkley has been released I didn't know yeah so interesting interesting good evening to you Aiden thank you for joining mate I hope you're well black country uh black country uh keep saying it over the last couple of days there's a guy from JP Morgan behind all the finances with the club next summer is uh will all come out GSB gone I don't think they're going I really don't. I'm glad. Media reports state that he has, been, has to be signed by Tuesday to be eligible for, well, signed by Tuesday, yes, but then it's the work permit. So if the work permit gets sorted, then it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Sean, for God's sake, Moyes, our best manager, saved us twice, uh, get behind him and the team, come on your irons. I agree, totally agree. I've been saying it even when people have been talk, uh, calling for his head because we lost our first three games. I totally agree. Fo, what's the point of rushing Paquetta's work permit? Moyes won't play him for a couple of weeks. Not ready yet. <laughs> I guess he's been training uh, in pre-season with Leon. Uh, Scott, Coventry help us keep our domestic quota. Good shout. Didn't think of that as well. Um, so Barkley's on a free transfer. Martin, uh, still, any idea about Johnson's injury? Uh, do you think we should sign a right back still? No, I don't think we should sign a right back But because I, I think Harrison Ashby is a decent young player. Uh, it's a hamstring injury. And the rumour is that it could be a, about three weeks. Uh, let's hope it's no, no more serious than that. But yeah, unfortunate for him. that, uh, And that means even more reason why we're not likely to let Harrison Ashby go. Because even though I said earlier on that Kerrick can possibly play at right back, whilst we still have issues with our centre backs get, coming back to fitness, etc., Kerr will be there, and then maybe, maybe Kerr will then move to right back or cover at right back uh, further down down the line. But even more reason with uh, with uh, Johnson being uh, injured, even more reason why we're not likely to let Harrison Ashby go at this time. Uh, Victor, will you be doing a transfer? I'm th seriously thinking about it, but it might be on my own. So I, you know, um, other other channels will get about 50 million guests and all that sort of stuff and keep it interesting. If you think you can put up with me on my own, I might bring one or two in. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I am seriously thinking about it because you never know. There might be one or two surprises coming up. Yeah, you know, we we may sell a player or two. I I think at this moment in time, if we 
if we're about to get rid of anyone, it's because we are going to get someone else in like for like, because I can't see at this moment in time us getting rid of someone without replacing them. Uh, I think, you know, a, a squad of 23 is decent. Uh, but, I, you know, that. So, yeah, all right, I will. I'll do a Thursday show. Good evening to you, Mandy. How are you? Thank you for joining. Benny is on fire. He absolutely is. Daniela, uh, it could be worse. We could uh, get Mike Asprey or a Glazer as owners. So think about it with all this owner stuff out. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Look at look at Man United, you know, funky tea. Last time we spent money was at Pellegrini. Do you think it will be different this time with Moise Step? Yeah, I do think it will be different this time. I think... Um, it was weird with Pellegrini. We all got really excited, didn't we? And, you know, he's buying all these uh, players in and all that sort of stuff. And and it kind of felt a little bit scattergun. Now, when we look back on it, um, he bought an awful lot of flair players, but I don't think he bought any players with real... He didn't buy any players that were solid. Whereas what David Moyes did, he clearly, obviously, when he came back in, the first thing he did was he changed it round. He made us a more solid. He made us harder to beat. You know, we stopped leaking goals. That was the thing with Pellegrini. We had a lot of flair players, but we, you know, didn't have that, that many defenders to talk about. Whereas Moyes, he brought in like Dawson and players like that to 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 keep it solid. So yes, I do think it's different. And let, let, let's not forget, you know, he spent quite a lot of money. On defenders, he's bought Kerra, he's bought Aguerd, he's bought Emerson. You know, he's not only looked at midfield and up front, but he's also said, I'm going to start from the back. You know, who's the first player he bought? Aguerd. You know, and uh, and he went from there. So, yes, I think it's different. You could see the strategy. You could see, you know, and I just wonder if David Moyes is not only buying players for this coming season, uh, and I, I wonder if he's looking at next season. I said earlier in the show, we're going to lose possibly three, four, maybe five players at the end of this season who we're going to have to replace. And Moyes maybe is not only looking at the here and now, he's also probably thinking about what, what needs to happen for next season as well. Someone mentioned about Downs, you know, not necessarily a player for now, but certainly a player for the the the, the, the season ahead as well. Uh, let's scroll down. What am I up to? I'm still half an hour behind on the chat. Uh, Pat Holland fan. Moy Bowen would come good, just needs to find his feet. I totally agree. I'm not, don't get me wrong, not having a go at Bowen. You know, he's going to be, he's a fantastic player and he will come good. Amma, uh, Bowen should have passed to Benny. Absolutely agreed. Ironclad. I thought Skamaka was a striker. On Sunday, he played like the uh, the seven on his shirt. Thought uh, Yamo in disguise. First half, had 11 touches, only one inside the box. It's how, you know, in the first half, though, to be honest with you, mate, um, it's how the team was set up. The ball wasn't getting to him. There was no there was no delivery to him. So he had to kind of drop deep in order to get into the game. A lot different in the second half, though. Um, Unka, good evening to you. Would you start Skamaka against... Yes, I think he did. I think, okay... I, I think, um, as uh, just been mentioned, he didn't have the best of first halves, but I think he was a little bit starved of, uh, of of the ball. But I think in the second half, I think he was decent. And I think he was decent against V-Borg as well. Would I start him? You'll probably see Antonio start on Wednesday. You know, a bit of a battering ram against uh, Spurs. But otherwise, yeah, I would start him. Ironclad. I, I thought, uh, yeah, that's the one I did. Sorry. Um, let's scroll down. Steve Hill. I think now that we have at least three or four players who can change a game from the bench. Absolutely. This is what we need. That's why I'm not so sure that any players will go. Uh, Mandy, look at our backbone. Zuma, Rice and Skamaka. Not bad at all, is it? Uh, and then Mandy again. Uh, Paqueta, Bowen and Benny. <laughs> you should have seen the chat earlier on, Mandy. You would have been blushing. Vinay. Ariola might ask for a January transfer. He does not get any game time. I don't think so, Vinay. I think Ariola knows he's the long-term number one keeper i genuinely thought he'd be the number one keeper this season um but um no i don't think he'd be asking for it to, to leave lee good evening to you mate does Moyes have a plan b now i think he's got a plan c as well in Moyes, we trust we are massive overland and c absolutely uh paul does Ariola start on wednesday for me he would to be quite honest with you mate i'll do a preview i i'm not going to do a preview of the game tonight uh, but I'll do a preview on that will go out on Tuesday uh, about uh, the, the Spurs game. And, and I'll talk about who I think is going to start. But I'd like him to start, but I, I, I don't think he will. Martin, that was a fantastic tackle on Richarlison. Wasn't watching that. Uh, Schmiegel, is it just me who thinks Paqueta is a board signing and not a Moyes signing? It's just you. Uh, Moyes doesn't seem to like flair players. We know he doesn't. He tends to like workhorses. 
But even the, actually he said, and the reason why I think he, it is his signing is because he said a few weeks ago, we need more pirates in the team. He realises that we need creativity and we need flair. And he's got just that. He's got just that. Uh, Andos, uh, two points behind the Scousers after four games. Would have taken this before the beginning. There you go. Scousers, they ain't started off well, have they? Um, Jay, there's rumours uh, Dawson wants to leave. It's not a rumour that he wants to leave. There are rumours that uh, teams want him. Aston Villa apparently want him. And, and there were rumours earlier in the in the summer transfer window as well that more, uh, Dawson wants to go back up north because of family situation and all that sort of stuff. But uh, I think he's uh, I, I, you know, he's out injured. You know, who's going to buy an injured... At this moment in time, who's going to buy an injured player? Like I said earlier on in the show, let's see what happens in January. You know, when we've got all our players back fit. Or by then, we might have other players that are injured and we'll need Dawson. But at this moment in time, I cannot see uh, Dawson being sold. Cannot see Harrison Ashby being sold. Cannot see Fournals being sold. Purely because at this moment in time, we've only got 23 players in the squad. Someone mentioned about Connor Coventry within 24th, and that's a good shout. But... Uh, <clears throat> Aguirre's out injured. He may not be back until the new year. Ogbonna still finding his feet after a really bad injury. And I know he's got game time, but he's still far away from being, you know, Premier League ready. Um, Zuma, as you saw, started off sluggish. He probably had his best game so far on Sunday against uh, Aston Villa. Uh, Kera, he's new. You know, he's finding his feet. He's good, though. So when you've got that situation... I don't think we're going to get, I don't think we're going to sell Dawson. I don't think, um, even though we've got five um, centre backs when they're all fit, maybe in January. But uh, I, and I think Moyes would have spoken to Dawson and said, look, let's see how it goes. If in January you, you, you do want to go, if you're not getting enough game time, then we'll talk then. And that will sound uh, pretty reasonable. Doogie, um, does Sojek still get a start with Paqueta in the frame? Different different uh, positions because uh, I doubt very much you'll get Paqueta lining up alongside Declan. But I'm going to talk about transfers and I'm going to talk about Paqueta and where best he'll play uh, in a moment. John, good evening to you. Absolutely gutted as a Newcastle fan that we didn't go in for Paqueta and complete our Brazilian midfield. Hope he does well for you lot, though. Thank you, John. Much appreciated and welcome to the channel as well, mate. Really appreciated. Uh, Epic, uh, signing Barkley would allow us to sell uh, Zinni. Uh, well, signing anyone else at this moment in time, like I said a moment ago, would probably mean that's when we start, you know, looking at players leaving. So if anyone else does come in, then it's quite possible a player may leave. Uh, ironclad. Good job we don't own the stadium. After this, spend the price of pie and pint would have to be doubled. <laughs> uh, Jerry, Suchek might be gone by Thursday. Michael, uh, speaking of meat ones or whatever it was earlier, what happened to Koku? Who knows? <laughs> How many players have we talked about that have just not materialised? Hammer, good evening to you. Cash worthless, soon assets uh, better, hence the big spending. Cash worthless, soon assets better, hence the big spending. I, I, I think I got that. Thank you. Vinay, all the defenders plus Lingard are moist signings, except Soufal and Kral, who are Suchek signings. There you go. <laughs> Right, I'll tell you what, let's stop there and go into the last part of the show, shall we? And then I can get a drink of water as well. So, of course, let's start with Paqueta. Let's talk about where he's likely to play and so on and so forth. I put a show out earlier on, you know, when it was announced around about seven o'clock um, uh, to sort of say he's been signed, etc. So for those of you who haven't watched it, I'll go through this pretty briefly. Uh, let's start from the first slide. Uh, so all you need to know about Lucas Tolentino Coelho de Lima. Apparently, he got his name Paqueta from an island uh, around Brazil. Um I don't know if he lived there, but he was born in Rio de Janeiro, so I'm not so sure. Right. So we've signed him. We agreed a five-year deal with a one-year option uh, for the player. And uh, he's uh, reported to be £51 million, including add-ons, and he'll wear the number 11 shirt. 
Um, Paqueta, he said, uh, I'm extremely happy to be here. I hope it's the beginning of an enjoyable journey. I hope my time here is successful. And guess what, Lucas? We hope so too, mate. Uh, he also went on to say last season, West Ham had a very good season. So those of you who were saying, maybe you saw the way we played last season and uh, that's maybe persuaded him to join. I think absolutely. Why not? I'm excited to pull on the West Ham shirt and show the fans what I can do. So he already knows the expectation of the fans. Uh, so uh, I, I think he's not, I don't think he's going to let us down, to be honest with you. So a bit of stat, bit of history, et cetera, et cetera. Six foot tall, operates best from uh, the right side of midfield. Uh, versatile midfielder, can play as a number eight, number eight, number not number ten, and also can play as a false number nine. Uh, he's very well. We we know well rounded midfielder, very creative, great positional awareness, uh, and fantastic ball dribbler. And he's got a trick or two as well. He's Brazilian, of course. He's going to have a trick or two up his sleeve. Um, last season, average stats. He played, uh, he made 44 appearances last season, with 37 starts, 11 goals and seven assists. Uh, he had a pass attempts, uh, 1500 pass attempts last season, throughout the whole season, 80% pass success rate, which is pretty good. Shot accuracy rate of 57%, 41 chances created. So he's made 40, 40, 44 appearances, uh, 41 chances created, which is more or less a chance per game. Take on success rate of 68%, ground due success of 51%. Um, injury record. Thankfully, not an injury record to be uh, worried about. 2018-19, one he missed one game because of an ankle injury. 2019-20, he had a thigh injury, missed three games. Um, as we know, Lucas Paqueta, he's uh, born in Brazil, 27th of uh, August, uh, 97. He just turned 25 at the weekend, um, in, in, born in Rio de Janeiro. His youth, uh, he started off at Flamengo, uh, joining at the age of 10. By the age of 15, technically skilled, but he wasn't physically built enough to be able to uh, play. But within the three years of him being there, he's, he had a, a, growth, um, a growth spurt and was part of the youth team that won the 2016 Copa Sao Paulo, which is a prestigious uh, youth tournament in Brazil. Um, in 2016, uh, be between 2016 and 19, uh, he started to make appearances uh, for the senior team. Uh, made 65 appearances, scoring 13 goals with five assists, awarded the senior contract in 2020, and he made his senior debut in 2019. And that's when uh, he, st he started to get interest from abroad. Uh, quite a lot of cl clubs were interested in him. And in 2019, January 2019, uh, AC Milan came in and paid £35 million for the player. But... I'm sure you probably already know he didn't have the best of times in, in Milan. Uh, he struggled for form. <coughs> Excuse me. He made 44 appearances, only scoring one goal with three assists. Struggled for form and he struggled. He talked about struggling with the formation that was being used at the club. And he also cited pressure of expectation on his shoulders and lack of friends around him to get him through the season. So uh, Milan cashed in on him. And uh, uh, in 2020, uh, Leon came calling. They paid £20 million for the player. Um, and, it's, well, he, season was, uh, well, his career was resurrected. Uh, he's made 80 appearances, scoring 21 goals with 14 assists. Um, now, look, uh, they've got a sell-on clause, Milan, and so do Flamengo. So all the teams that he's played for so far will get a little bit of the, uh, a cut of the, uh, of the fee that we've paid for him. Now, the thing with uh, his move to Leon was that it, it was recognised that the formation he was playing in at, uh, at Milan didn't suit the player. And this is the question that people have been asking. Will David Moyes change the formation for this young man in order to get the best out of him? He flourished in a 4-3-3 formation in Lyon. And people are speculating whether David Moyes would do the same. I think David Moyes will look at it and and will, I mean, you know what Moyes is like. You know, he's not just going to accommodate one player. You know, he didn't do that for Hilaire, for Hilaire. He doesn't, you know, he won't do that for any player. Moyes will play his system. But I think what Moyes will do is he's likely to give him the same sort of freedom that Lingard had when Lingard came on loan to West Ham United. If you remember, 
And one of the things I've been saying, the difference between Lingard and Ben Rama is uh, Ben Rama is expected to sort of do the dirty work as well, you know, and uh, as Fornells does, etc. Drop back. If you play with him wing back, he expects you to drop back and defend and all that sort of stuff. Lingard got a little bit more grace off Moyes. He was allowed that sort of that freedom role, that sort of uh, free spirit, spirited role. And I've got a feeling that this is what um, Moyes is going to do with uh with uh, Lucas uh, Paqueta. I think he's going to give him a little bit of a free reign. He probably knows he's bought a player. Well, probably knows. He does know he's bought a player with flair. I don't think Moyes can play him in a rigid system and expect to get the same results from him. He's got to have looked at his history and looked at what happened in Milan and say to himself, if I do that with this player, we're not going to get the best out of him. All right, one could argue he's more mature. He's got a couple of more years experience, etc. And so maybe he can adapt a little bit more. But my feeling tells me, if you look at the success we had under uh, with Moyes and Lingard, when Lingard was here on loan, I've got a gut feeling that Moyes is going to do roughly the same thing with uh, Paqueta and is going to give him that sort of freedom of the pitch uh, to sort of uh, do his best. Uh, international uh, plays for Brazil, 33 senior appearances, seven goals and one assist. He represented Brazil at under 20 level as well. Senior debut for the senior, uh, senior debut uh, was uh, September 2018. And he helped Brazil uh, in 2021 to reach the Copa America finals, scoring a goal in the quarterfinal and a goal and an assist in the semi final. Honours so far, only 2018, 2019, the Copa, Bra uh, Copa America with Brazil. Um, Let's get the next slide if it wants to come up. Uh, so, like I said, conf confirmation, five-year deal, one-year option. So we got him till probably 2028. But the other, and uh, so welcome to him. But the other thing with Paqueta is um, we've got a player that even if we only keep him for, I don't know, say a couple of seasons, two or three seasons, he'll still be at an age where we'll get decent money for him if he maintains his form. Uh, so I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. We've signed a class player. Uh, so let's move on to some of the other players. And I've mentioned them already, uh, a few already. Harrison Ashby, all this rumour about him going to Newcastle, as people mentioned, for around about two and a half million. I've already mentioned, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I'd be very, very surprised, especially with our situation with our defenders at the moment. Johnson being out for a few weeks as well. Uh, for now, to Barcelona. I've already mentioned that as well. I don't think that'll happen. Apparently a 30 million deal. And as I said earlier in the show, um, Barcelona can't sign players. They, 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 oh, they can't, um, they, they can't, uh, well, they, they can, they can buy them. They can't sign them. They can't give them, uh, they can't sign them on the, uh, at the club until they actually get rid of players. So they've got a pro problem, Barcelona. Uh, they're looking for new players, but they've got to get rid of players in order to, uh, be able to, uh, have these players playing. I don't think, um, that's going to happen either. Dawson to Villa. No, I've mentioned this, uh, earlier on. I don't think that's, uh, likely to happen. Possibly in January, as I said. Um, what other player? What other? Uh, whoops, let's go back a minute. Excuse me one second. Um, did I? There we are. I thought I loaded them on. Uh, Wan Bissaka. He's the next player that's uh, come up. Uh, apparently, today the story goes that uh, we're looking to sign uh, Wan Bissaka. Um, look. The, the, the money is on a loan. Uh, the weekly salary that is on a loan will, will prevent us from signing this player. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, there's a decent player there, but my understanding is that Crystal Palace are looking at re-signing the player. So uh, I give this one a bit of a low score. I don't think, you know, people are talking about, you know, we, do we need a right back? I think we've got a player in Harrison Ashby who has uh, kind of appeared in pre-season. He's shown he's quite decent as well. Um, and I think at the moment with Sue Fowl and Johnson, we don't. I don't think we need Wan Bissaka, Connor Gallagher, and people are speculating because he got sent off at the weekend. Maybe Tuchel might decide to loan him out. I think we've got to wait until the end of the uh, window to find out if anything happens. I think Connor Gallagher, the fact that he's actually being selected, all right, he's not getting a lot of game time, but the fact that he's actually being selected by Chelsea, um, uh, uh, all right, so he's going to miss a couple of games. I don't think that's going to be. I don't think he'll be put out on loan. I don't think Chelsea would get rid of him. I think Tuchel likes him. I think he's given him an opportunity to shine. Really unfortunate that he got sent off, but I don't think that's enough for um, Tuchel to get rid of the player. And Brojar, uh, another player that we've been continuously been linked to. Um, again, if anything, it's quite possible that we could get Brojar on loan, then we can uh, Gallagher. 
But what does that then happen? I mean, that means we've got Antonio, we've got Skamaka, and then we'll have Brojar fighting for one place because he's not likely to play two, is he? Unless we're chasing the game late on in the game. So I don't know about this one. I think it's another one that we've got to wait and see what happens at the end of the transfer window. But that's maybe more likely than uh, the Gallagher signing. And then Januzai. I think maybe Januzai was a backup in case we didn't get someone like uh, Paqueta. And I think this one now is probably not going to happen at all. Um, I know he's a free agent, but uh, Moyes must have been, you know, is the rumour true? Oh, possibly that we were interested in him. But I think, uh, if, like I said, if we hadn't signed Paqueta, I, um, then maybe Januzai might have been a, a backup option. And then Hans Vanneken. This one's an interesting one because... Uh, even though the player wants to come to West Ham United and, uh, you know, the CEO of uh, Club Bruges has spoken about not wanting to let him go, etc. Many people are still speculating that this might happen. Now, we'll, I've been speaking to people and asking, you know, any chance, you know, both uh, uh, Lucas Paqueta and Vanneken, I was told no chance. It's either one or the other. Now that we've got Paqueta in, and some people have mentioned about central midfield, you know, Socek, etc., Watch out for this one. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we did a last minute deal. Apparently now uh, Club Bruges, there were two reasons why they didn't want to let the player go. First, they said they needed a backup. Uh, they needed a replacement. And secondly, the price. I believe they've now got a backup. They've now got a replacement for him or someone that can compete in that position. So now it's down to price. Would we, would we do it? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but that that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Now, there you are. I didn't want to go too much into transfer rumours because uh, I, I, I've got a feeling half half in my head, people are talking about, you know, maybe we'll get one or two loans, et cetera, and that might be it. That's possible. That's possible. Are we going to buy anyone? If the only one we're going to buy, it could be it could be Bannikin. But I think we're going to have to wait and see what happens over the next couple of days. But as someone has asked me, I'll do... I'll do uh, a show on Thursday uh, just to see what happens. Let's go back into the final part of the show with your chat. John again. Uh, no worries. Always like West Ham. Lived down in London for four years, unfortunately, in Chelsea. Can't have, can't have the best of time. Oh, well, it's not bad round there, to be honest. And kind of adopted them as my second team. Well done. Uh, thank you for joining, mate. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, I also think, I also hope Newcastle do well. As long as you don't do better than us, then it's all good. <laughs> Mandy, have you seen Paqueta's dance celebrations? Is he going to compete with uh, Antonio? Uh, I live in this. <laughs> I don't live in Chelsea. <laughs> I sometimes do wish I did. It's a nice area. Kaiser, good evening to you. Skamaka better than Kane? Let's find out. Let's see who's going to score on Wednesday. Skamaka, get a hat trick. Vino, Schmigel, I want to see uh, Paqueta straight in. He's an experienced player. He can partner Rice and even Benny can be in the same team. Lyle would, would play flair players. He would. Yeah, he would. Uh, Mark. I was in V-Borg to watch Holland v. Ireland. A much more comfortable performance. Best two players on the day were Johnson and Benny. Oh, was that the um, Johnson and Benny? Oh, sorry. Yes, you V-Borg against Ireland. Holland against Ireland. You were in, you were in, oh, you are in V-Borg. But to watch Holland against Ireland. <laughs> I'm glad. Mandy G. Uh, Chelsea have offered Brohar and Gallagher to Everton as part deal for Anthony Gordon. Have they indeed? Where did you hear that, mate? That's an interesting story. Uh, Sean, uh, the way Ben Rama is playing, I would rather drop anyone to fit him in. Uh, even Bowen, he deserves to play. He helped life, uh, helped life us out of hell. He helped us like... Sorry, I, I, if I don't get some of the things that you say, do forgive me. Andos, why is it that most players, uh, most new players for other teams get thrown in straight away, but ours need a season to be played? Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. He might surprise us all. How far behind him? I'm literally an hour behind on the chat. So I'm going to have to scroll down and I, I'm going to have to pick a few. Steve, uh, Vina, I could never understand the Kral loan. I feel the same about uh, Downs, who, if rumour has it, was a Warburton recommendation. Give the give the boy time. You know, even Downs himself has talked about how uh, he realised that the, the, the major leap it is between uh, Championship and Premier League. I've got a feeling that Downs will come good. We may not see as much of him, but I think we'll probably see more of him than we did Kroll. That was a strange signing. Black Country. My son playing the band outside Villa Park ground on Sunday. He said it uh, it was shit. He lives up that way and he is a hammer like myself. It's not. It's all right. Mark, uh, you're right. So I cannot remember a half-time sub. 
I can't. Yeah, exactly. That was an hour ago. So I'm going to have to switch. I'm going to have to jump. I, 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 do forgive me. You know, I, I love putting your comments in, but I'm literally an hour behind on the chat. So I'm going to skip quite a few. So do forgive me for doing that. Uh, let's go to Epic. Silkport logs to uh, Helsinki in the Europa League qualifiers and drop down to the Conference League. They're no more than a pub side. And even pub side can sometimes have a good day. Um, Ling, uh, Lee, Lingard was a blessing in disguise. Glad we had the opportunity to watch him play for our club, but even more glad he didn't come and choose not. Enough. You know what? Imagine if Lingard had come. We wouldn't have bought Paqueta, would we? We definitely wouldn't have bought Paqueta, without a doubt. Uh, Mark, uh, Silkborg are third in the Danish league. That ain't saying much, though. They will... Well, Viborg are fifth. So, on a par? Or is Silkborg slightly better than them? Uh, David. Just looked on Twitter. Clayton Booth just pointed out that this is enough to persuade Declan Rice to sign a new contract. Yeah, I, I think you know it, it. I don't. I don't. I don't think Declan will sign a new contract. I think what Declan will do is he will look at this season. He'll see how it goes. And like I said, even if we don't make Champions League, etc., if he sees progress on the pitch, you know, playing really well there or thereabouts, etc., that's what might make him go. I might stick around. He might not sign another contract but certainly um, stay with West Ham United and maybe even see out his contract. You know, he'll still only be, what, 26 when his contract finishes? He'll still be a young lad, young enough to go and play Champions League football if it doesn't happen at West Ham United. Uh, let's scroll down. Uh, Steve, uh, oop. we had an easy Europa group, uh, uh, but this year, the teams we're facing this year have a great history. This is it, though. When I was talking about them, I couldn't get past the history bit. Because uh, Stal Bucharest, what they won the Europa, European, uh, Cup, the Re European Cup, didn't they? And the Cup Winners Cup, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I was trying to sort of get away from their history and talking about now. And it was interesting, Steve. We had a num we had uh, some Stal fans in uh, in the in the chat uh, last week, and they were sort of saying that uh, you know they'd be happy to get a, a point off us. So maybe their their history, their name. It is kind of like it's not where they, you know, not where they, you know, they're not, they're big in their countries, but maybe not as big in Europe as they as they once were. But I'm not taking anything away from them. Don't get me wrong. I'm not dismissing them at all because they're the sort of teams that can hurt us. So it's not going to be an easy group. Kent fans were 12 uh, man. The Wolves unbelievable support start to finish. Uh, away days are the best. Goal reaction and celebrations priceless. Agreed, Chris. Rhythm is a dancer. Paqueta is the answer. <laughs> Scoring goals from everywhere, from Rio de Janeiro. West Ham superhero. You won't stop him with his flair. <laughs> well done. <laughs> David, uh, let me tell you something. We will win the Conference League. Let me tell you something. I hope we do. I really do. I, we, look, the, the thing is with the Conference League, and we talked about it when I when we did the draw on Friday when I did a show, is I think what, what I find a little bit shit about it is that uh, when we get through the group stages, teams from the Europa Europa League will drop down into the Europa Conference. I don't think that's right. I think if you're in a if you're in a competition, it should just be those teams that are in that competition, nothing else. So Champions League teams drop into Europa League, Europa League teams drop into Europa Conference League, and I don't think that's right. But having said that, it would just be very interesting to see the type of teams that could drop down from Europa League. And uh, so long as there aren't some, you know, big names that drop down, then I think we stand a good chance. And I think we should take it seriously, by the way, as well. Daniela, just seen this. Chelsea have offered Everton. Oh, yeah, someone mentioned that already. Bloody hell. Yeah, so that means we won't get... Uh, Everton will take that. Everton will take Conor, Conor Gallagher and um, Brojar. I would. If they if we were off, uh, who would we who would we swap? Yeah, I'm not gonna pick a player. But uh if we were offered uh Gallagher and Brochar plus twenty five million. Wow. How must Connor Gallagher and Brochar feel about that? Raul. Uh, West Ham have got a £60 million player. Meanwhile, Stad Bucharest got a 1.5 million. Thanks for joining, Raul. Much appreciated. Um, you know, we're still worried about you, though. I'm guessing you're, um, uh, you're a Stal fan. Thanks for joining. Excuse me. Pat Holland fan. Uh, sorry, James, to Pat Holland fan. I don't, wouldn't worry too much. He's already Skamaka. This and Skamaka, that. Wearing spaghetti necklaces. Who? What? Where? 
Who's <laughs> swearing? Spaghetti necklaces. Uh, Raul again. West Ham. Yeah, got that one already. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening to you, uh, Ch- Ch- Chelio. Celio. Thank you for joining, Flamengo. Thank you for joining, mate. Much appreciated. I hope you're well. Um, Portugal, Flamengo Paqueta. Thank you for joining. Much appreciated. Lennon from Hull and supports West Ham. Who's from Hull? What's the best shirt in your opinion? Um, oh, you're from Hull, Lennon. I, I don't know. I, I, I quite like this one. I quite like this sort of like retro shirt. Is that what you meant? Good evening to you, English Yardie. How are you? It's amazing how these other clubs hate on. Let them hate. Doesn't matter. We've got some nice people, though, in, in, in the chat tonight as well. Uh, Stephen, uh, why the smell? Why the smell is his shirt not in the store? Uh, highest paid signing. Give it a chance. He only signed today, <laughs> Stephen. It'll be available. I bet you it'll be available when you go to the store on, on Wednesday after the uh, after the Spurs or before and after the Spurs game. Doogie, where's Moyes playing Paqueta? I hope I mentioned that. I hope you caught that earlier on. I think he's going to give Moy. I think he's going to give Paqueta a bit of a free, freedom of the park, to be quite honest with you. Ryan the Iron, good evening to you. Rice, potato salad, Paqueta, a Chris, and a Cornado. <laughs> Pgads, uh, there's a joke in uh, Brazil about Brazilian players. Will Paqueta do after he wins the World Cup? Turn off his PlayStation. <laughs> Don't know what the joke is. That the joke? I don't understand it. I'm too old. PlayStation, what's that? Aaron, good evening to you, mate. You say fans boom when losing a game. I was there when we smashed Leon 3 0 and they rioted. Bet he loved that. He, that is true. I was there too, Aaron. And uh, the Leon fans, when that whistle went, they burnt their seats. I mean, literally, they had a bonfire. Like, they were trying to get through the barricades. They couldn't get through. They were trying to get on the pitch, etc. And uh, they were throwing things and all that sort of stuff. And then they set light to their seating, you know, at the far end of where we were. Literally, they had a bonfire. That's how unhappy they were. What am I down to? 10.34. I'm trying to catch up. You lot. God, you talk, don't you? Chris, uh, Leon President said we thought we would have a very... uh, Leon's President said we thought we would have very big clubs come in, but we're forced to talk with West Ham. West Ham living rent free. <laughs> right. Let me tell you what I forgot to mention. There, there was rumor that uh, a team came, uh, a team came in for uh, a Premier League team came in late for uh, the player for Paqueta, and people are speculating. Oh, it was Spurs or Newcastle, etc. It was Arsenal, and the story goes like this: Arsenal said to the player or the player's agent, "Hold on till January. We don't have the money now, and trust me, this I've got this." you know, from not, I've got this uh, confirmed. They've said to the player, uh, we don't, can't buy you now, but we'll buy you in January. Don't go to West Ham United and we'll have you in January. That was a late last minute uh, uh, thing that uh, came in. They tried to steal him from us, but they couldn't buy him now. So they tried to say to him, hang on and we'll buy you in January. What a pile of shit. I hope Spurs go down for that. Uh, uh, Arsenal go down for that. Um, Stephen, would love to win a domestic uh, trophy. I was 17 last time we won the FA Cup. Uh, 59 soon, uh, been far too long. Great. Thank you very much. I'm 60. So I was 18 when we last time, last won anything. So I know how you feel, mate. Other clubs want us relegated. Uh, Adam, they say they like us, but as soon as we're winning, true colours come out. Uh, there's some good people out there who like West Ham. Second team, as we were always known. Uh, in. Uh, the exhaustion, relief and delight on the players' faces after Villa. Good to get that monkey off our back. I totally agree. Really, really, everyone was really relieved. You could see it. You could see that weight off their shoulders. And let's hope we we continue on from there. Sorry I'm not getting all your comments in. I do apologise. Mr Mace. Bullseye says he does cruise ship before. Don't! Stop it! Uh, Joan, hello. Uh, how tall is Paquette? Six foot, Joan. I hope you're well. Chewbacca. Uh, yes, I heard Bartley was going to be paid off and available on a free. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. On a free, I take him as backup. Why not? So long, you know, the only problem with him is he's, he gets injured a lot. But uh, I'm serious. On a free, I take him. Yeah, why not? Why not? James. Um, Moyes, uh, four stint, saved us from relegation twice and qualified for Europe twice. Where did these Moyes out? I don't know, mate, but there's been a lot of them. I bet they're quiet now. The latest Doogie on uh, Johnson, apparently 
apparently three weeks, but we know what it's like with David Moyes. He's not going to give it a lot away, but apparently it's about a three-week layoff. Uh, Oliver, good evening to you. Do it still. A transfer window show will be great. I'll do it. I'll do it. You've sold you sold me. I'll, I'll do it. Good evening to you, NWO. How are you? Do we need to lose any players, even with new signings? We need the squad size. I agree. We do. We. Oh, sorry. We don't need to lose players. Totally agree. We absolutely don't. 23 and, and plus uh, commentary at the moment, 24. Bernie, um, still, you don't, you do not need others on Thursday. All we need <laughs> fans here. Thank you for that. I'm struggling though. I'm literally trying to count. I'm still half an hour behind on the chat. Joan, selling Masuaku and Fredericks in the op was good business. We haven't sold Masuaku. Um, we haven't sold Matt Fredericks. We, he's on loan, Masuaku. Let's hope it's permanent. Uh, Fredericks, uh, his contract ended. We did sell Diop. He's the only player we've sold. Him and um, Alese. Look, so 31, 41, 42, 52, 30, 40, 50, 53, 54, 84, 90, 100, 170, 127, 37, So that's roughly 160 odd million pounds. And we've sold 15 and a half million. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Oggy must be close, Doogie. Yes, he is close. I mean, he, he's he's getting fitter, but um, I think it's going to take a while before uh, he, he starts actually playing, you know, at first team. But also, he's got to fight for his place as well because uh, Kera is doing brilliantly well. Chewbacca, the channel that has uh, Sky Sports Guy as a guest. Anyone know if he has paid a fee for being on the channel? I don't know who you mean, but if you're on Sky Sports, it's quite likely that you're going to the channel that has Sky Sports Guy Oh, I know you mean. Uh, you mean Hammers chat with um, Dartmouth? I think they got on uh, recently. No, I don't think. I don't think he does get paid. I, I, I think they got a good rapport with him. To be honest with you, I'd love him on. Be great. Uh, Pat Holland fan. Hey, Stel, we'll send you an email with my Aussie schoolboys tour itinerary. Would be great to catch up for a pint. Absolutely, mate. Please do. Please do. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. Uh, oh, and by the way, if you want to send me, a, uh, um, have I got it? I, I never, here we go. If you want to send me a message about anything, westhamboys at gmail.com. I'll try and reply to them as best I can. Uh, it is a one man show. So do forgive me if I take a little bit of time, but if you, uh, if you want to send me a message for anything, westhamboys at gmail.com. Um, who else we've got to here? Uh, do it, Paul, do a show and link and link invite some of us. Oh, good idea. I might try and do that, mate. I might try and do that. Foe. Uh, Joan, not sure about King Arthur. We need him. Just <laughs> no, we don't. Steve, uh, there's only one Paqueta. Give him, to, give him to me. <laughs> God, you're all singing before we've seen him play. He might be shit. <laughs> Night, Anthos. Thank you, mate. Thank you for watching, Joan. Fo, uh, it was a great banter, but I'm relieved he's not warming up to come on on the 70th minute. Who's not coming? Uh, well, Moyes, don't know what he'll do with our subs. Mark, really think Bowen wasn't sub for Cornet against Villa for fear of Bowen nab before transfer deadline? Uh, Bowen really, excuse me, Bowen really looked out of sorts and I'm surprised Cornet didn't get any game time because Bowen, it was probably one of his worst games, to be honest with you. Lily Rose, Dawson out. No, he's not going anywhere, Lily Rose. Don't worry. Um, NWO, just chuck a donkey a few more carrots, he'll be fine. Which donkey do you mean? Terry, come on, your irons. Good times ahead for this club. Massive football club. Absolutely. I I, I agree. Um, Red, five. Dawson and Ogbonna are aging. They'd be crazy to leave. We always have injuries. I Look, I, I, I don't, like I said earlier in the show, I don't think Dawson's going anywhere. I think maybe let's look at January and, and see what happens then. Ogbonna, he will see out. I mean, he was emotional when he had an interview the other day. It's clear that he knows it's his last season. He's going to stay with us, you know, and I, I think Ogbonna has been one of our best centre-backs that we've had for many a day. Uncle M, good evening to you. You fella must play through the middle, not hidden on the left wing where Moyes usually puts them uh, more unpredictable players in order to have more solid solidity centrally. Um, it's a good shout. It's a good shout. I think uh, it'd be interesting to see where, where he does play him. Like I said earlier in the show, I think he'll be given the freedom uh, to sort of roam, to be honest with you, a bit like what Lingard did. Um, Billy Bob, uh, great show. Thank you very much. Probably be nearer over time you read this. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'm so desperately trying to catch up. So I'm going to have to, I'm, I apologise. I really do. And I forgive me. You you know, I, I love uh, you reading all your comments, but I'm going to have to skip a load because uh, they're so, God, you lot are so on it tonight. Um, let's see. Let's go from Terence. 
That's a new name. Uh, forgive me if I haven't seen you before, Terence. Good evening to you. With a few tough games ahead, I hope all new signings start. Can't wait. Absolutely agree. By the way, if you're new to the channel, please do hit the like button, the subscribe button and the bell notification. It will help me an awful lot. Thank you very much. Fo, I think Moyes re realises his tax has been found out. He admitted it. He admitted himself that we need to change a different way. Uh, you can't play counter-attacking football against every opposition. Paqueta will actually add much needed creativity to the central of midfield. Absolutely. Uh, Schmiegel, wan -Bissaka wouldn't be a bad signing. I'm not saying he's a bad signing. I just think the salary is on, etc. Maybe, maybe prohibitive. Not saying he's bad. Not saying he's bad. If we can get him on loan and Man United pay a bit of his, um, a bit of his uh, um, uh, uh, salary, then why not? Steve, good evening, Stephen. Good evening to you. Uh, hell no, still. Hell no, what? See, that was 10.59. That was 20 minutes ago. I don't know what you're saying hell no to. I do apologise, mate. Uh, Terry, Paqueta for Hammer of the season in May. I'll predict it now. <laughs> Will be interesting. Steve, Aiden, that was the downfall of Sochek, maybe for keeping Rice and letting him develop. Uh, are we talking about, uh, yeah, the, the different uh, positions they were playing? Um, Hammer it. Every one of our signings oozes success and intent. Absolutely. Good evening to you, Paul. I hope you're well. James Fitzgerald. Uh, get the Belgian guy in. Don't need the Chelsea guys. You know what? The Belgian guy, even at 30 years of age, would be an interesting signing alongside Declan. He would. He would. Um, Kent, why would you sell four now for 30 million? He's a better player now than he was when we signed him and we played 25 for him. I would never sell him. He's a real moist type player. Agreed. And I don't think he's going anywhere. Robert, uh, Janazai has gone to, there you go. See, by the time I did this show, by the time I caught up to that comment, he's already gone. So I knew that wasn't going to happen anyway. But uh, David, uh, hi, Stel. What's the story about Paqueta being eyed by another club? Well, I don't know if you caught it, but uh, the, the story goes, as I said uh, uh, a moment ago, Arsenal came in for him last minute uh, with a genuine offer. They wanted him to hold off signing, though, until January. What they, they preferred, uh, they didn't, uh, they, I don't know why, they haven't got the money or whatever. They wanted to buy him in January rather than uh, uh, now. Uh, and, well, they fucked it up. So good. It's tough on them, really. Hammer it. Uh, I'm happy now for the window to shut, let our season uh, up and get our season up and running with our great squad. We've got a very good squad now. Very good squad. Schmiegel, out of all the players in Belgium League, I would love to sign Noah Lang. That all went quiet. We were rumoured to be linked to him much earlier in the transfer window. I don't think anyone's gone in for him, have they? Joan, we could have a completely, completely changed first team in a few months. Who will be dropped? Who will be dropped? Well, if you look, let's have a look, shall we? Now, for me, my first 11, I mean, goodness me. Let's, oh, let's get rid of that as well. Excuse me one second. Uh... Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right. So for me, I'd have Arioli in goal. That's for me. For me, Ben Johnson is improving as a right back in a back four. I'd have him. Kera, um, I want to see what Aguerd's like, but Kera and at the moment, Zuma and left back. I want to see Emerson play. I want to see him play a game or two. Uh, in midfield, I want to see Declan. Let's leave it at Declan for a moment. And then... Uh, a 4 1 4 1 formation. And so four in the middle Bowen, Paqueta, Benny, and Fournells, and then Skamaka up front. How about that? So that means you're going to have uh, Fabianski dropped, Sufau dropped, Dawson uh, and uh, Ogbonna. Well, they're, they're Dawson and Bonner are injured anyway. Creswell dropped, um, Socek dropped, uh, Lanzini dropped. And Antonio dropped. How about that? Agree? Disagree? <laughs> Good evening to you, Clive. Uh, to you, Clive. I hope you're well. My apologies. No problem, mate. Um, have I missed your speed doing? I'll do. I'll do a recap in a, in a moment. I promise you. Uh, now you asked me that twenty minutes ago. <laughs> Can't keep up. Um, David, still, you're doing a transfer window on Thursday to either talk about further additions or talk about how good the transfer window has been for West Ham. I do one good shout. I do one or the other. So I won't just sit there and go, oh, no signings. I will do an analysis and, and do a little bit more in depth about what Joan asked, who will play, who I think should play, etc. etc. Really good shout, that. Thank you. Patrick, I'm 25 minutes behind the live vid, but I've been told I'm good for. <laughs> Um, Mandy, 
if the chat is fast still you you can enable slow mode for chat can i really i wish i could huge still what's the story uh on the team that tried i, I don't do it through youtube i it might actually well i don't know huge uh what's the story on the team that tried to hijack done that already mate i hope you heard that one earlier Ian. Great show. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night to you as well. And see you on Thursday as well. God, I'll be dead doing these sign do all these shows. Um, uh, Pat yeah, Gallagher, great addition. If we sign no one else, then I'm more than happy. So it sounds like Everton Everton, my God, they'll bite their hand off for those two players. Uh, Mark, sorry, Stell, Holland, uh, West Ham in orange and white, but I'll oh, sorry, mate. I should have got that, Mark. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I should have got that like that straight away. Um, uh, Celio, 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 uh, West Ham champions, Pegetta. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated for you getting taking part. Good evening to you, mediocre white male. How are you? Would rather smash them 3-0, but absolute scenes if Pegetta comes on and bags an 88-minute winner against Spurs after they try. It weren't them. It was Arsenal. Arsenal tried to hijack it. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't Spurs. Amma. I don't rust. I don't rust. I don't trust uh, Declan. He's changed from Irish to English. He's uh, he he has his eyes on what's best for him. Look, <clears throat> I won't lie. Every team, every player has got eyes on what's best for him. But I reckon Declan will. This is a statement of intent. You know, signing the players we have: Skamaka, Paqueta, etc. It's a statement of intent, and I just wonder. He might be thinking to himself. Mm, Hammer it. Gallagher and Brochard and 30 million for Rice. <sighs> Gallagher, Brochard and no. Dabs. Longello uh, posted that he's back training with the under 23s because he was injured. He's he get unfortunate for the for the young man. He does pick up quite a few injuries. He's had quite a few. Um Howard, on Latino's Twitter page. Whoever Latino is, I will score Wednesday. Oh, you mean um, uh, um, Paqueta? I will score Wednesday and dedicate my goal to Gabriel. Oh, you're talking about Lanzini. <laughs> Daniela. Rice is more English than Irish. You should never be allowed to play for Ireland as a youngster. But, you know, you, you do these things when you're young. You want to play. You don't know where at what way your career is going to go. There's a lot of people that aren't happy with uh, players changing uh, uh, allegiances, to be honest with you. Stephen. Still, uh, news. As it, we've approached Man U for the right back. Yeah, Wan Bissaka, I mentioned him earlier, mate. Look, I'm not against it. I just thought that perhaps with his salary, the salary that he's on, I thought maybe we it wouldn't be a thing. But you know what? Great. I think that I, I you know, great. I think. Uh, I, does that mean that um, that then? Uh, I said earlier on that I, I don't think we're going to sell uh, young Harrison Ashby. We probably won't. We might put him out on loan. But, you know, wan he, he's not a bad player. I don't think he's had a great time of it at Man United. Um, and maybe, just like other players, maybe the uh, the transfer fee weighed down on him too much. Who knows? Um, I think it's interesting. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But I will do a show. If there's any more, thank you very much, Celio. Much appreciated for you joining. Um, I think it'll be very interesting. You know, got a few days left now. So let's see what happens. I'll keep an eye out. Dabs. Our defence when they're fully fit is crazy. Who would start? Who would start? Who would you, which four would you have at the back there? I said earlier on, see, this is another thing about, I'm not so sure about wan but I think when we do get all our centre-backs back, I think Kerry will move to right back. I don't know why I've got that in mind. I know he played right back for PSG quite a bit. Kerry at right back, Zuma, Aguerd, Emerson. Oh, Johnson, Dawson, Ogbonna. Creswell or Sufal, uh, Zuma, Ogbonna, uh, Creswell. You know, I mean, take your bloody pick. I mean, goodness me. But they've got to get fit first, haven't they? Um, Lee, other clubs are going to be bricking it now. The big clubs uh, always go in for these players who are talking uh, to just for us not to progress. They even try to prize rice from us. Moyes building for the future. He absolutely is. I said earlier on, it's not just for this season. This is uh, for the season uh, after this one as well. Bob Uncle, good evening to you. Hopefully, Kara will go right back if Oggy comes in. There you go. Not sure Sue Fowl is the answer long term. Sue Fowl could be his last season at West Ham United. I think he's still got two years left. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, Kara, I think right back. James, 
Got a bit lost with the speed of the chat there. <laughs> you got a bit lost. Uh, what am I up to? I'm 10 minutes behind and I've skipped so many comments, which I really, really do apologise on. Stephen, having that Man U waste, I don't know. I think um, wan hasn't done well at Man United. Doesn't mean he can't do well at West Ham, though. Uh, James again. Uh, well, that must have been a proper kick up the arse for Arsenal. You know, I think, you know, coming in and then not, and then even saying to the player, yeah, we want you, but we can't buy you until January. On your bike. Dabs, will we change our formation against again against Spurs? I think we will be a bit cautious against Spurs, to be quite honest with you. I think we will. Um, will we go five out? It didn't work, but I think we're going to have to think about what, 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 uh, formation we play. I'm going to do. I'll do. I'll do a, re- a preview of, of the game tomorrow when I've got more time to sort of think about it. Daniela, Arsenal rumored to be putting a, a late bid in for T- Tielemans, and that may be, uh maybe they wanted Paqueta and um, Paqueta for January. Well, that's their t- uh, Tielemans. I would have liked Tielemans at West Ham. To be quite honest with you, why don't we try and ni- why don't we go and try and nick him at the last moment when he's about to? Apparently, um, Paqueta had his medical done apparently he had all the photos taken for the for all the media stuff etc and arsenal was still trying to lick him that's how close uh they were to trying to get him adam great shows thank you very much beat spurs thank you mate much appreciated joan uh so you drop four nails gotta drop someone i love four nails what's good is that we've got two strong teams now big transition ahead i agree uh Gary Perry, good evening, mate. Uh, from Charleston, South Carolina. How are you, mate? Thank you for joining. Really much appreciated. Uh, please do forgive me, people, if if I haven't put your comments up tonight. I do apologise. Uh, I'm really trying to get through them. Um, Clive, successful window? Absolutely. Uh, for one, I for one take back my negativity at the start of the window. Well done, mate. Uh, Emma, Tottenham need to be bullied. It's a London derby, no prisoners taken. So we're going to might put out quite a physical team against them, which is probably why Antonio may start. Mandy, what does Fournals do other than chase players around the pitch? He dies, you know, he's been with Fournals, he's been asked to play certain systems and he's always adapted. I give him that. He came in as a number 10 and now he plays, you know, defensive. He plays left wing back, he plays uh, alongside Declan, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm down to the bottom now. Um, Hammerett, budget. Do you think uh, any of us wouldn't would have been busy this? Do you think any of us thought we'd be this busy this in this window? I don't think. I, I think many players, many people were quite pessimistic about the transfer window. Red five. Ariola, yeah. Johnson, Zuma, Agard, Creswell, Rice, Socek, Paqueta, Corne, Bowen, Skamaka, best eleven. And yet you're missing out in that eleven. Uh, you're missing out. Uh, who we got there? Johnson, Zuma, again. You're missing out. Dawson. You're missing out. Kerra. Uh, you're missing out. New boy uh, Emerson. You're missing out. Uh, you've got Cornet there. You're missing out. Fornells. Uh, you're missing out. Lanzini. You're missing out. Antonio. Uh, you know. So isn't it great that we've got these options now? Right. I'm at the bottom. I'm not. Stop typing. I'm not going to read anymore. <laughs> uh where where did that comment go there we go um uh lee main thing is the signings all wanted to come to our club let's start our season and kick on we are massive absolutely foe well done paqueta showed integrity could have easily had his head turned by arsenal absolutely he could have done without a shadow of a doubt um patrick he can split the defenses with a pass mandy you're gonna love this player i'm telling you now Jason Rendell, would Sufal do better at any other club? Seems like run, cross, anywhere, run back. <sighs> Sufal did well for us. We've got to give him, give him credit where credit's due. He came in and he and he stabilised and we loved him the way he played for us. So, um, but uh, sometimes a player, you know, they, they, they get to a point where they, they, they can't maybe deliver what they what they did at the beginning of the seat uh, at the beginning of them signing Moyes mentioned it you know he said I've got one or two players who aren't where they were at you know a season ago a season and a half ago a lot of people thought he was talking about Socek I wonder if he was talking about a few more than that Sean for now has scored 34 goals for us amongst everything else he's a very very decent player I wouldn't let him go uh, good evening to you, Emma. Uh, it would be nice if we played 4-3-3 so Paqueta could fit in it's a really good shout Absolutely. Red, quality squad. Isn't it just? Beats. Uh, realistically, can this team challenge for top four? 
No, only because it's that transition stage. I'm not saying that we can't, but I think we've got to be really aiming for top six, to be honest with you. And if we get anywhere near top four, I think that would be a massive, a massive bonus. But I also said very early in the show, if we win a comp- if we win a competition this season, if we win a cup, Europa Conference, whatever it is, and finish mid-table, I'd even take that, to be honest with you. Because think of the memory that will give us winning a cup competition. And it will spur this team on to do even better and better. Um... Uh, where we got uh, Hammerett, uh, great team, can't wait for Wednesday. Uh, absolutely, Steve Stell, thank you, thank you very much, really appreciate that. Silver Hammer, us not buying in January meant we had to be busy in this summer, absolutely, but we sure won't be buying again in the next January window. No, I agree, I don't think we will. Good evening, Dan, how are you, mate? Can you believe this window? Unbelievable, mate, unbelievable, unbelievable. James Bond, Stelios, Matt, thank you. <laughs> very much. I'm getting to the bottom now. You lot have got to stop typing. Just stop typing. Uh, Clive, in answer to your question, Happy, I personally heard so many people saying not getting anyone, etc. I said it myself. Yep. Uh, Luke, who else we signing? I don't know, mate. Uh, Kiyosi, uh, no, not our best 11. Ariola, Johnson, Zuma, again, Emerson, Rice, Fornells, Paqueta, Benrama, Bowen, Skamaka. This is going to be our new argument, isn't it? Our new, our new argument is going to be who's the best 11. But isn't that a great argument to have? Isn't that a great argument to have? Uh, Joan, uh, Sufan and Sochek were excellent first season. They brought work ethic in as well. Not so good now. Well, things change, don't doesn't it? Things change. Um, it's not worth it. Good evening to you. Fantastic new record signing. Looking forward to seeing him on the bench for <laughs> to the season. Billy Bob, uh, West Ham fans always ask players to give 100%. Then then not, no, not then moan about it. Re now. Yeah, absolutely. And you cannot argue that Four Nails has never given, he's always given 100%. Always. Thanks for everyone. Yeah, thank you. Much appreciated. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to let you know when I'm next on. Epic. Um, uh, we'll announce a new signing tomorrow. You heard it here first. <laughs> what am I going to do? And two shows then. A preview as well as something else. Neil, fans will soon learn what a grafter Paqueta is. He is apparently as well. He's not just, uh, you know, not just a flair player. Uh, Ryan, Benny flattering to uh, to uh, receive, deceive still. Dropping, putting corner. Oh, no, Benny's been our best player. He's been our best player so far. Uh, right, that's it. I've got, I've got, I've, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you all very much. Uh, really, really appreciated. You certainly kept me on my toes. I really do apologize that I haven't been able to try and get through more of your comments, but thank you all for getting involved as usual. Um, I'll be back uh, soon with another show. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I can't not. It's the final final week of the transfer window, so I'm sure we're going to all be a bit busy. Have a really, really great week. Uh, come on your irons for Wednesday. Let's keep up that momentum and see what we can do against Spurs. You know, they're on a decentish run. So, you know, it's not going to be easy. But I reckon we can take it to them with the atmosphere sold out. It's going to be superb. Let's go go in there and get, and get at them. Thank you all for joining. See you all very soon. <laughs>